Hi, welcome back to Evening Fall, everybody. I am a stinky little baby. <laughs> I uh, thought about having a new thing for the Patreon where they have to make my intro. Um, oh, that's, that's a yeah, bad idea. I know, but like everybody would have to vote on it, and it became mm. too complicated. But I think it'd just be funny if every episode opened up with just random garbage <laughs> uh, because I never know what to say. I don't know how to end things either. I just kind of start them and end them. Your like so. DM like thing would need to be changed that name too. I, I really yeah. You probably have would. the overlay and be like Stinky Baby. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Hello, I'm Stinky Baby. Um, guys, the- let's just cut right to the chase. Uh, we have I lo- Jordan. I love that. Uh, my favorite thing is whenever I push go and then somebody gets up. Like, <laughs> it's not. It's not bad. I'm not chastising you for it. I just think it's hilarious that there was all that time you're sitting and you're like, this is a good time to stand. <laughs> um, gotta get the dice. He's guys, gotta get his steps in. Guys, yeah, we got new art. We got new art for a brand new character. Not a brand new character. It's everyone. We have new character yeah, it's, for it's Eddie's character. Uh, we got a new character update for uh, uh, from Drew for Lelia and uh, I'm going to show it off to you today because it is fucking amazing. <laughs> Check it out! Ah! Oh my god! It's fucking amazing! Drew, you are so good. I have also dropped it in the Discord under the spoilers. Um, Drew, you're fantastic. This is beautiful. Yeah, I they won't know your reaction in, in our chat. It is amazing. No. So, and it looks great on the overlay. Mm-hmm. You, Lelia looks pretty sick. So, also, look at that Phillips back on there. Hmm. It's been a while since we've had that. <laughs> the boy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so, one more. We got one more, and that's Edward. Thank you, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we, we, um, we got a new Phelan update, too. So, it's, but that's uh, pretty sick. Coming. But it's coming that's soon. Coming. It's coming soon. I'm really excited. I want to show you guys all Maybe the next time we play. <laughs> Maybe. Um, You're going pretty fast. Yeah. Guys, we are sponsored by nobody. We're sponsored by it's ourselves. True. So, that I'm not going to talk about a sponsor. We're sponsored by Edward we're, today. We're, we're, you can see his ears. <laughs> we're we're, <laughs> we're, we're kind of sponsored by the patrons. <coughs> we're kind of sponsored later. by you guys, but that's that's for later. I think I had another thing I wanted to say, and I can't Barden's, remember what it was. Barden's donation. Oh, Barden donated a thing. He, he did? Ah! Khakis. Khakis. Hey again. Uh, <laughs> just a friendly <laughs> reminder that. that there is at least 20 potential illegal adventuring parties in all of Sunda currently f- trying to find out who the fuck turned the sun off. <laughs> Good luck to all your roles, everyone. That is true. Um, that gives re- like really gives new meaning to the dancing sun baby. This is one of them trying uh, to find this we, out, apparently. We just cut to group them in, in the dark. Sunder, the dancing sun we just baby. cut to them in the dark walking, and they go, so who, who do you think did it? Like, we all fucking know. You guys find them again, and, the, and you guys are like, we have the ability to turn off the sun. And they're like, oh yeah, we have the ability to turn off the moon. Let's not turn both Prove off. Prove it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the world's... <laughs> 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 they're like, oh yeah, we have a portable hole and a bag of holding. <laughs> 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 they send themselves to the astral plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in tonight. Okay. I'm a big fan of stalling. <laughs> last we left off on Evenfall. Spencer, what happened last time on Evenfall? You did that to yourself. The party was just stepping through the Underdark. Um, and uh, they were gonna they were gonna rest. Lord. They came across a little clearing, and as they were setting up their stuff to rest, the uh, clearing started to grow uh, faces in the wall, which was very concerning to everyone, because cave walls shouldn't do that. Um, Kurt casted, uh, detect thoughts on the faces on the wall, and the faces told them that, uh, they m- weren't going to do anything, and that, th- that we would meet who they truly are soon. Sorry. Ooh, um, so we walked for, like, another hour. I th- no, we slept there, and nothing happened. And then the next day, we woke up, and we walked for a while, and we found three mind flayers, and an elder brain sure did. and it was like surprise we were the faces in the wall yep. uh we're gonna eat your brains and uh maybe some of you could be like us um we said no thank you um and ran away very quickly uh the party stumbled upon the uh the, the prison that they've been looking for for a really mm-hmm. long time mm-hmm. and upon opening the front door immediately spotted philip um and was like <laughs> we're just this hanging is, this out. is gonna be a lot easier than we thought but yep. then the uh, Elder Brain Dragon showed up and decided to uh, ruin our little plan. Um, and by ruin our plan, I mean we had no plans. Everyone had individual Everyone had plans. Plan, um, Philip was instantly brought into grotzed mode 
So he had no plans for himself. <laughs> Kia got bonked on the head. Kia got so bonked on the head. Um, couldn't predict that. Can't, can't predict that, no. But we did end up uh, all getting out of the prison alive. Um, and the Elder Brain also got away after causing quite a lot of chaos in the uh, Dwarven City. Girl. And then um, Kia was like, I got this cool new ability and I can teleport all of us to Leonia. And after some discussion, that is what we decided to do. We left off with all of you teleporting into Leonia. Hang on. After Kurt did what? Turned off the sun turned because the we were all off. being babies. Yeah. Yeah. I will so turn the sun t- around. Too many seconds. <laughs> and he's just the like, s- I'll turn the sun off. off. <laughs> I forgot. Hang on. I think <laughs> what you mean is turn the nighttime on. Yeah. It did indeed turn the nighttime on. Um, <laughs> it's looking pretty dark. Oh my here. goodness. That, that side of the table, especially. That, that side of the table is having a hard time adjusting. <laughs> Don't worry. That's what it looks <laughs> like. In, in, in I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah? Please don't do this. I did not do Nothing. anything. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Pick the right shirt. There you go. There you oh. go. There you go. <laughs> it does such a good job during <laughs> fucking um, Ice Windell days. Yeah, I know. Uh, all right. For real, though. Let me turn this up just a little bit. So, uh, you Where's guys are... Uh, yeah, I don't know. The auto fucking thing isn't working on that side. Huh. Uh, I'll figure it out later. So, um, you guys... Um, teleport um, as the uh, symbol of Leonia appears from underneath you, sort of golden sort of sigil surrounding you. You are each sort of <coughs> lifted up in the air for a moment and you feel the sensation of falling until your feet touch the ground once again. It's bright and then slowly you kind of look around. It's basically been like flashbanged. You can't see anything. It's very dark. But you smell <coughs> what smells uh, which immediately sort of uh, hits your senses first. It's like uh, um, fresh grass um, and uh, what smells like uh, like water and moss and as your eyes slowly adjust you look around and you're standing in what looks like the middle of like a grove um, there are uh, palms kind of up in the air kind of blocking out the night sky there is you can hear the lapping of water as a uh, small uh, like little uh, uh, not a river but what's like a small a creek. river a creek yeah mm-hmm. like kind of passes uh, beyond you there's also a, uh, a lake kind of off in the distance reflecting the moonlight and the stars off of it. Um, and you can see a couple of people standing around you uh, pretty confused. They're sort of startled by this sudden intrusion of all of you. Um, and uh, they sort of stand up, these people who are dressed in like either um, or two women in long dresses, one of them uh, a drow, another a high elf um, halfling sort of looks over and sees all of you and is just like, whoa, where did you come from? And you see Kia sort of turn over, and uh, she looks down, and, he, and, um, and she says, this is official guard business. And, and he looks up and says, ah, got it. Okay, then. Well, um, all right. And he sort of walks off. <laughs> you guys are in the middle of what looks like this, uh, this, this grove. Um, and Kia turns, turns towards all of you and says, um, welcome to Leonia. This is the Oasis, uh, a park in the center of the entirety of the city. We need to meet with the queen, Elden. She wants to speak with us. Wait, uh, her name is Elden? Yes. Elden Bastion. Um, I am to take you all there. Uh, But before, um, I cannot take any of you, even myself, so filthy. There's a bathhouse in town. We can go there. I know people. I know a lot of people in the city. And um, Subtle flicks. I will make you a deal. If you all come with me to this bathhouse, wash yourselves up, get your clothes cleaned, I can put your name into the, the Titus Trove. The, t- the Titus Trove. It's a magic shop. It, um, by reservation only. I know the guards who work there. I could get you all in. Very nice is it place. funny to you, Phelan? No, this is out of character. How about it, Philip? Can we go take a bath? I'd go love a bath. Go into a nice Would bath nice. house. Does Titus Trump still have that uh, bar upstairs? Uh, <laughs> the speakers? <coughs> yes, it does. Um, if you like, if you um, while you're there, I'll, I can... Likely find you a VIP pass. You guys could make your way up to the second floor. They've got wonderful drinks there. Did you hear that, Phil? She can make you a very important person. I don't think I need one. She can do that for you. Why don't you all follow me? Also us, but you. Please stay close behind. Um, 
<coughs> you know, Thank wander. You. I don't want to have to look for you. Not going anywhere. She leads you sort of um, uh, past the grove, and you guys walk for about a good five minutes through like this park, um, passing by trees, um, moving through forests. Um, small, uh, there's like flora and fauna and bushels sort of everywhere. It's very uh, neatly sort of put together, and you pass by uh, 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 people sort of walking um, uh, here and there. You see like a couple in a bush who are just just in each other's faces um, and you just kind of walk right past that um, and eventually um, it transitions from um, grass underneath you into stone and before you and beyond the tree line you can see this enormous city before you um, you would think you were on the ground if you couldn't if uh, uh, if you didn't hadn't seen the city beforehand floating up in the sky but you just see the enormous starscape before you and bef- um, and underneath that is this city that is sort of at like a slant um, towards your left would be like this sort of these like lower buildings that sort of eventually grow taller and taller and taller to these massive um, uh, structures. You see these temples, you see this and uh, they all sort of surround the, it's enormous uh, staircase that goes up to this massive castle at the top. Um, with these pointed spires and um, lit with like orange sort of glow. The entire city is lit with like these um, these ambient orange glows sort of everywhere. Um, and you just see people walking everywhere. The entire city isn't like purely flat. It actually has like hills and whatnot. And you can see the different streets, people going about their business, carts moving here and there. Um, and it's very peaceful, extremely peaceful. You just hear the hum of the night city and people walking minding their business. Occasionally you see uh, uh, a a half-elven woman walk by you and she just kind of nods, smiles, and continues on. Um, Kia leads you down these (coughs) cobbled streets, um, sort of of like going down one hill leading into another um, uh, street where you pass by taverns. You smell the fresh bread of uh, 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 steaming from a bakery. And Kia sort of looks over at it and she says, that place is really good. We should go there in the morning. And... um, an invitation for baked goods. I think we all do, actually. Perhaps you could get a honey bun. I could. A sweet roll. Yep. She uh, oh, looks up at you and she says the High Town Bakery is just as good. Lady as it Fingers. Right. Um, and uh, she sort of leads you back uh, down these yellow and orange glowing streets and over towards this um, very large, lavish looking building with red drapes all along the side of it and steam just coming out of the middle. Um, she sort of leads you over towards a wooden door. There's a guard standing outside and she looks over and she says, uh, <laughs> um, and she says, Bill? And he looks over <laughs> and he just nods and he says, Bill, Bill, oh, Bill. What are you doing here? He's like, my friends, look at them. They're disgusting. And he goes, they are. Right this way. Um, you may undress in uh, the rooms up ahead. Uh, your clothes will be taken and washed. You should leave your weapons with me. And Kia looks over and she says, uh, they don't need to leave their weapons, do they? She says, it's more of a formality, but I suppose you could take them in if you'd like to. I will. And she sort of nods and she heads in. <coughs> I will be taking my weapons in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he kind of eyes you as you walk in and sort of like hey. confused, like he want he just say, hey, and walk in. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys head in uh, to like this, uh, this uh, lobby where there are multiple sort of rooms with towels sort of on the outside and then this sort of archway that leads further into the bathhouse and beyond. You just see pools that are glowing um, this like deep sort of blue color. They're lit by like these magical rocks at the bottom of these, um, these steaming pools and you just see like a dozen naked people just before Whoa. you. Um, like, are we talking about like, like beautiful naked people or is this like oh a boy. nude beach reality naked people? I think it's just um, reality, you know? There's a little bit of beautiful, like there's a little bit of not. Jolly there are all olds. sorts of people on the inside. I mean, but everybody is, it is sort of like maybe like a nude beach situation. This is, uh, everybody has agreed that this is a bath and uh, <laughs> we are all going to d- d- remove our clothing. Um, there's know, maybe one or two individuals in the back who are, n- who are slightly clothed and not fully uh, 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 bearing all their, all their bits to the world. But um, it's sort of an invitation to let you know, hey, this is okay. This is a bathhouse. This is a bathhouse. You need Kurt, to bathe. Kurt's just going to be like, there's always one fucking weirdo who keeps his shirt on. You don't want to be <laughs> that Phelan person. Phelan is just Phelan. like, you know, very, like, just... 
Lelia Le- 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 goes Le- in her armor. Just fucks right in. Water plinking out of her plate mail. Just right in. Question, how deep are the pools? That's a little too deep. They're about a stitch deep. Oh, she's in the deep So there's ones that are deeper and there are some that are not. There's the kitty pools. And you actually guys see one, there's like a, in the back there are about like eight doors and there are like these doors that open that look like these like private rooms and you see like two individuals sort of step out with like towels and they and they walk out yeah oh. two elven men and they sort of walk over um they're like dripping wet as they make their way out uh one of them just takes yeah, off his towel like... um and just like sh- uh, dries off his hair as he walks forward um and he, <laughs> he just kind of moves his way over past y'all into one of the rooms to like grab his stuff i'm gonna go just... undress and get into a bath cool Same. yeah you do that is there like I mean... a person who's gonna take my clothes um, the, uh, yeah, they do. You can leave them in the, like, the small rooms. They'll take them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Uh, you do so and ask this kid. And, um. Yep. Bath. Uh, bath. And y'all bath. head into the bath. Can bath time. Huh? What? You didn't hear me? Damn it. <laughs> you gonna poison the bath? No, I'm getting cannonball. You're gonna cannonball? <laughs> oh, cool. So. I'm a fucking a- goblin. As you guys all, like, uh, <laughs> settle in, how we into the water. Uh, it's warm. It feels amazing you're on kidding. your body. Especially because of how... The muck you guys have been going through in the underdark. It is like at first you're like, this is weird, and then you're like, no, this is worth it. This is worth it. You just feel immediately okay clean. Now. You feel much better. And then you are all immediately splashed. You just hear like the pitter pat. And you look over and you just see Stitch in the air real quick, and you're like, ah! And you're all splashed with warm water. Goblin on your, face. Butt. your hair is immediately wet. Um, Stitch sort of floats to the top. <laughs> <laughs> He's just floating Le- in the water. <laughs> Lily is definitely the last Spread person to get in. She's like and on just the like edge walk. of the bath, like with like a towel. Yeah, like, she like slowly puts like her foot in, like slides in. Yeah, to, just yeah. trying not to be seen. <laughs> yeah. Bath. <clears throat> and y'all are sitting in a warm bath. As you do, you know. Yeah. So do you guys like talk during this? Like, is this where you have like important conversations? Typically, no. No. I don't want. Do you to, have honestly. something you would like to talk about? Not Cardos, you know. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Philip. Philip, his name is. St- <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Not Cardos is funny. <laughs> Stitch, sorry. Cardos was the dragonborn that we traveled with. I thought maybe oh. something had happened to him, and he was now you. <laughs> As far as I know, now small and scaly. There's been some really weird magic shit that's happened. Since yeah. The How does the away? floating city work exactly? Magic. You, you, wow. Uh, right, but Thanks. like how? Like I what's the know. mechanics could, of the weave? Like. I, I don't. I don't know. You could ask Alma. He know, probably knows. So. Interesting. Has it always been floating? It, it can land. It is it, it, it like can. a bird, you know, just <laughs> yeah. gracefully. Well, <laughs> there you go. Hey. Stitch. Just, yes. Just so you know where I'm coming from. Kurt used to be a, a half elf. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't now know that. Now they are a halfling. Mm-hmm. Right. Now they also have a tentacle beard. And yeah, that's, that's recent. I don't know. If <laughs> I don't know what happened to your eye, but also. Recent. They also have like a like an iron heart now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they do. That was me. You um, hit, you watch gonna as die a, uh, an elven man walks over, um, and he uh, and he and he's sort of like in this long like like toga, and he comes over and he has a plate, and he um, on the plate is is glasses, and he says oh. wine. Oh yes. You take two, three even. <laughs> and he, he, he says have, yes, and then he leaves. <laughs> And it's like a white wine. It's very sweet. Oh, we're, we're okay. Not a not chance. <laughs> wine? Nah. It's <laughs> just down in one. <laughs> and as you do one. that, you see like a really like thick bearded dwarf in like a, a like in a, in a pool over. He's just got his arms out and he goes, Hell yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Kurt is gonna, um, no. is just Here going go. to uh, like no. do one of those things no. where they, they press up out of the pool. <laughs> no. Um, and then they're just gonna pad over and find the drink person again <laughs> as an excuse to walk around <laughs> naked. Dwarf, like watches you and is just like, oh! <laughs> and he's sort of like, oh! <laughs> uh, you go over and you find the drink person again who's like, who's like, uh, has like this, uh, More. a jug and is like filling up other cups and just looks at and says, can I help you? He gives you the jug. <laughs> 
you, go, you walk back. I feel like having too much wine at a bath is not a good idea. Get warmer. <laughs> Until you're just going, you know, you're spread eagle, but face down. <laughs> I'm like, I need to stop from looking at Kurt. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. <laughs> Does Kurt come back to our, to our group? Yeah. Yeah, with the jug of wine. The, oh, with the jug. He's doing one of those things like... Standing out of the, are are like we, the, are we meeting with my mother today? Yes. Well, it would have been about noon. <laughs> would have been. <laughs> would have been. <laughs> um, maybe you should be it's drinking like that much dude. then, since she's like the queen. Maybe What's we that? don't say anything about the fact that you're the one that turned the sun off. I think. You know, or at least if we do, we let well, we assure them that it'll turn back on. It's already. This is a very good excuse to catch up, Philip. So yeah. what have you been doing? I was in jail <laughs> for about all of the time I was away from you, except for maybe a, a day or two. That's really sad, Philip. <sighs> yeah, it was a very quick transition to being in prison. <laughs> well, how could we? Well, I made it to the next town over, and then I, I, I burned uh, a, a tavern, a house down while I was naked, and then killed two people. <laughs> so you, while you were naked, like you killed them while you were naked. I don't remember, to be honest. I was just mm. going off. Why does the so naked thing have to be so? I'm just trying to get a mental picture. It was kind of like a. Uh, woke up in a jail cell the next day and they read off a list of things that I had done. So mm. they could have said more than I did, but I'm going to trust them. Mm. Uh, arson, uh, public indecency, you know, jaywalking, uh, murder. murder. Jay yeah. Jaywalking wasn't on there, but perhaps. <laughs> what about all you? You're. Uh, you two have the most going on. Uh -huh. well, you look the exact same. They well, were they were hunting for you when uh and when they found me. Are I was in a I was in a spider web, quite literally. Yeah, we. Uh, and we then Kurt thought it was a good idea to bring out a fly to try to save me. <laughs> well, it almost worked. <laughs> <laughs> it almost worked. You're Sorry, carrying around a fly that. in a, like a jar. Right now? Well, it's a, it's a small figurine that turns into a larger fly. We ran into your sister and. Um, she, she took us aboard her pirate ship. Right, right. Do you remember Ted and Clark? Never met Ted and Clark. They were cracking priests. They're really cool dudes. Cool. Um, really cool dudes. Real sad we had to leave uh, them behind. They died. Phelan is right next or close to Curtis going. I don't know what that is. Did they and die? They, uh, no, they went back into the sea after some Why? unfortunate sea business. They're sea creatures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and um, after they murdered. Someone. Yeah, no, that oh, was great. Um, like the, uh, and you know, we're getting closer to the island where my father was, and um, I needed some. You know, I was calling to call in the heavy hitters, so I said, "Hey, Ted Clark, do you know what we could do?" And they were like, "We could pray to the Umbali." And I was like, "Who's that?" And they were like, "She's awesome." And then uh, they cut out my eye, and we threw it into the ocean. Uh, and then uh, yeah, Umbly came. Yeah, you look you very concerned. You see, like the Kraken eyes, <laughs> it's so glowing, glowing blue softly. color deep into, the, into um, their skull. And we made a deal. Uh, it was awesome. We all got to s we all got to stare into the eyes of a uh, immortal being. No, um, I didn't. Sorry, you weren't there. Uh, uh, and then we we went and we <coughs> killed Dad. It okay. was very. Um, you it. it was. It was touch and go there for touch a little bit. It was uh, very intense. I stole my magic. Just whoop, sucked it out. Um, but I found the kraken. Right. 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 And uh, did she also give you the the beard? The no, that was the. Uh, nice that was the ilfid. In the. Uh, <coughs> it's the dragon. Well, there was a dragon, dragon and it spits uh, tadpoles. That's and what that was. I'm nearly just as confused as you. Yeah. It, it, it would have turned them in. It would have turned. Was? It would have turned mm -hmm. them into a much different monster had I'm it sorry. not the, stopped working for some reason. What was? Oh, Mind flayers are all dead. Oh, no, apparently not. not. Now. That's what they look like. <laughs> so, but they have like a like a like a 
yeah, the purple like, head, the purple head, to yeah, and tentacles, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's the, yeah, yeah. no, the dragon thing that almost killed us all, like that, yeah, an just, hour ago, that just destroyed a city. That that's what just sort of the probably actually turned them all into mind flayers. Yeah, no, there's um, probably a city of them. The elder now. brain told us it was like us. Should. No, no, no. The Elder Brain have? said that said that Lycus showed them that they all were going to die and brought them there. Well, yeah, some kind of chicanery. And then th- apparently they happened. told Lycus, but well, I don't know. And then you Well, you, it very nearly killed me. Uh it was it was really touch and go there for a while, and then right. the Kraken said we should kick this thing's ass, and I said Course we should. And then I put the, and, um, the you know, amulet of endurance so into okay. Kurt's chest, yeah, which is really basically punched that thing in there. Yeah, right, uh, right, 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 it's right, right. it's. You ever heard of a pacemaker? I don't know what that is. Okay, basically it keeps the heart beating at ah. the right rate. Yeah, that's basically what it's doing. Just, just. Are you a doctor? No, no. I'm an artificer. <laughs> no, he's a goblin. I, I, I see that. Yeah. Um, you said you killed the Rakshasa? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, now you are a werewolf. I, I, the Rakshasa didn't turn me into one. Right. But yeah, close enough. In the same, the yeah. same scenario. Yeah, yeah pretty okay. much. Okay. Okay. But uh, it's good. Okay, okay, okay. You were in a web. You killed the, the Rakshasa. Very good. That was before the web. Before, mm-hmm. before yeah. the web. Yeah. Before you met the goblin. Yeah. Yeah. We were with your we sister at the time. To hell. Right. right, right, right. Cardos yeah, was there. We talked, we talked about this part. Cardos uh, stayed okay. behind. Right. So you met my sister, you went to hell. Wait, mm-hmm. no. You met my sister, you w- killed your dad. Yep. You met the Kraken. Yeah. Made Somewhere a deal with Umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. You went to hell. Uh-huh. You yes. killed the Rakshasa. Yeah. And the Archdevil, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the Archdevil. Cardos left. Mm-hmm. Stayed. Better word. In I the stayed hell. in the in house. Uh, I wasn't there for all of this. Right. Then, where do you come in? Actually, not far after that. Right after that. Okay. I found them on the Marcia ship. Marcia left? Yes. Where'd which she is go? Were we supposed to keep track of her? No, that's a hard thing to do. I can't ask you that. Because <laughs> she just... If I had anything to guess, um, they talked a lot about it missions that they were going to accomplish in Kize. There were some pirates and some bounties they wanted to collect, and I know they, they knew a lot of merchants coming out of there. Um, I also I also looked at her map. Mm. They're, uh, they're probably in Kize. Which is where your dad's going to with the whole city. Why is he doing that? I don't know. I is it kind of like... Elden is going to tell us. Is that kind of like a my city is bigger than your city type of thing? Like, staring upon you? It kind of yeah, feels I a bit wouldn't like put that. it past him. Um. <laughs> Just a big old flex. Okay. Leonai is very well protected. Um, yeah. For the past, I don't know if you knew this, Philip, the past ten years we've been able to strengthen the, um, the um, force field around the entirety of the island. Hi. Nothing can come in around. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, we had a problem with dragon attacks. Uh, uh, as you do, apparently. Is that another field? question for this Alma person? <laughs> Is that magical? Did Alma do it? Hmm? Did a wizard oh, do it? I see her. He had a hand in it. This <laughs> guy. Um, it's where my parents, my mother was killed. Mm. Dragons. Yeah, dragons are. Well, based off of that brain dragon, they're a nasty bunch. I haven't really faced any other dragons before. I've read about them. I've heard about them. Who hasn't? Anything else? Tetheros' dragon was pretty bad, too. Uh, Who? Tetheros. I was there for that part. Dude, just dropped a fucking unicorn yeah. on him. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as we do. Laszlo, we met him. He was with us yeah. for... And he's gone now. Because of Lycus. Right. Which I feel like is a very and important Lycus. thing. Also killed Ashkaris, from what you said. Yes. Maybe yes, maybe no. We're not entirely uh, sure this, what's happening. Uh, there. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um, Could be. Lycus also has my brother-in-law somewhere. And my okay. brother was looking for. Oh yeah, 
That's right. Like we did. Wizard? We did lose one. No, we lost one along the way. Maybe. Let's Probably. Not, let's not talk about that. I think I'm caught. I think up. that's everything. A yeah. little, at least. It's everything I everything I was here for. Oh, like it's was gonna. S if we keep messing with him, he's gonna set the bone bone claw on us. There's a bone claw. What? <laughs> that's a thing. But that's kind of the point. I mean, would be surprised. I didn't know about this. Uh, Lamarcia left right after, and you were, you found us like right after that. What's we, a bone claw? It's real it's nasty again. business. Real nasty. Oh, it has bones, it has claws. It's actually the best description you can give it. Killed Kurt briefly. Uh, how's yeah. the, uh, how, yeah. again? how's the jug yeah. looking, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I, I, the jug. I had to convince the wine the jug. Jug. Oh, the wine to bring them back. How's Kurt's wine jug looking? Um, Almost I, I, empty. Yeah, it depends on how much is in the wine jug. <laughs> um... Are it's pro it's I mean there's a lot probably about a gallon, <laughs> a gallon of enough wine. for your drink you know you're for <laughs> yeah. your um, no miss no Kurt's you been no do not sipping it <laughs> do you need a Resist. refill uh I I'm probably fine right now why why do you ask because <sighs> I got one if you need it <laughs> is he drunk dude I got one I got one the server uh comes over and. Uh, just lays a, a plate down by your, um, by your, uh, where, where you guys are bathing, <laughs> and it's a small sort of reflective golden plate, and on it is uh, like a like a spread of like crackers, cheese, and grapes. Oh, grapes! You're like crackers right and cheese. Crackers like <laughs> yeah. Lelia, Lelia's like this, yes, and then absolutely. The, 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 her monster party is like. <laughs> <laughs> Like Faith was like reaching for something, Kurt just went. <laughs> Kurt, By the way, do you like, do you like Kurt, can you serve not, can any like not, God or anything like that? Out of curiosity, huh? Kurt, can you not get all, that? Seems to be a really the common the trait well, yeah, among yeah, the people that right, travel here. Like she has like a God, and Why they have the Kraken thing, me? and I think you talk to your swords, maybe or I've heard the sword. I don't know, something like that. And then apparently the guy before that talked to a god. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't get my powers from a god. No. Okay. It's just anime. That's someone like just me. Just a demon lord. I am possessed by a demon lord, though. Oh, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Forgot about <laughs> that part. I like to forget that part, but it's like Laszlo, <laughs> white-haired <laughs> one, all of them. <laughs> he he gets his power <laughs> from his wife. He puts her hand on your shoulder, and she says, "You, Philip, you do." You do have a connection to a god. I, I do have a connection to one, yeah, but I don't get my power from them. Wait, which god do you, do you, do you, uh, um... I mean, uh, Bast and Umberly. And Umberly? Oof. I don't know that Umberly plays second field or anyone field. It's why I like to avoid the ocean. You've, you've known Umberly for, like, what, two months, and now all of a sudden you know everything? There's a temple to Umberly. Very there is. Here in Lanaya. I don't have very many friends there, but there is one here. Wow. Oh, There's a shrine in the castle. My to be honest, there. for most of my life, I figured we just had that temple so we'd ward away, ward away any um, bad luck from the seas. But now that I've seen the true extent of Umberly's power, I think that it's important that we have that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> very important. Uh, Lanaya is a coastal city. For the most part, mm -hmm. isn't yeah, it? It's not where, clearly. Um, where it's where it's usually supposed where to be. it's usually uh, sits. Yeah, <laughs> rests. Where it's a, it's on all the coasts everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just travel on. If it wants to, yeah. <laughs> Literally, it's all coast around. Yeah. It. Mm -hmm. It's a coastal what city. What? If it's sitting there, it's not going to restart. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so bothered by it. I would uh, just like to see before. this. Um, Temple of Umberly. Right, yeah, we should go there first then. Uh, no. Uh, no I, want, I want to talk to the Salma person. First. You I see, um, it totally wasn't in my notes of <laughs> things I wanted to do once I got in the city, but now that I know he exists. She just <laughs> walk over and she says, um, All your Hi. clothes are done. Yeah, thank you. Oh, hell yeah. Of course. Um, she can sort of nods. Kia says, Well, I think that's our cue. She sort of, uh, Gets up while water dripping off of her, and she heads out. Respectfully looking way, you know. And yeah. like Philip looks disrespectfully as she. <laughs> no, it's like a a look, and then I shouldn't, and then 
<laughs> yes, Philip, go ahead and look. Take Why a, don't you go ahead a, and look? You have just as much oh, a chance as I do. Lily's going to try and great, scamper out and get a call as quick of, uh, as possible, but of course, complete. she's not I, the quickest person in the world, so... Limp. Right. Wait, does mm -hmm. Lelia still have the limp? Yeah? Okay. Just heard the whole that whole conversation, you're just like, oof. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you return back into uh, uh, the, the, the dressing room, you mm -hmm. go inside and you see your armor is like, it's like polished. Yeah. Like it's like Whoa. sparkling clean. Jeez. It smells fresh like flowers. Um, and as you put it on, it feels just like really nice. So uh, I didn't want to be rude, but when did Lelia start talking? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a gradual it's process. It's been a work in progress. It's a lot of progress. A little bit by uh, little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt is in like a, a Hawaiian shirt and like <laughs> cargo shorts and flip flops. Where like, did you get it? How did, did you they swap that? that? They swapped your clothes. Okay, okay, Luffy. Okay, 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 one piece. But like, Kurt's just loving it. Yeah, no, Kurt's having a great time. It's like vacation Some poor clothes. Poor fucks got you. Your <laughs> <laughs> got like a like a, like a, a towel top. around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go get dressed. She still doesn't tell us a lot, but. And and you know what what she does say is very strange because she's basically a child, so it's right. Very weird. Right. Yeah. yeah, Kurt. She's weird. I don't know. If I'm gonna be honest, I think you all should, of you us are pretty beware weird. Beware who you're calling Black Kettle. I never said or I wasn't. Perhaps, I or mean, perhaps we should take that tail out of your pants. I'm aware. Well. I, uh, I hope that's not a problem. What? Why? What would, what would my, be a problem? My, 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 uh, you know what? We're just gonna, we're gonna play it right here. I'm gonna go get dressed. Uh, I'm sorry, what's gonna be a problem? No, you're Please fine. Please me. You know, nothing to do Please. with you, friend. I, I will be back. Have to Don't follow me into my dressing room. <laughs> you head off towards your dressing room, and as you, uh, step inside, as you all see Philip's tight cheeks. Why? Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you go inside, as you look in, you see, um, Why are you surprised, arm, Spencer? For the first time, looking as clean as the day you've got it. Yeah. And as you sort of put it on, and come out, uh, come outside. You see um, that halfling again. Who looks up towards you, and she, her eyes are just gleaming. She says, it's, "It's good to have you back." Thanks. Good to be back. Uh, the rest of you eventually um, do the same, and I assume uh, yeah. you get your Hawaiian yeah. shirt on. Yeah, um, it's gleaming. I see if they yeah, have yeah. they have an empty jug that I can like buy off of. The buttons. Uh, Phelan, your uh, clothing was like shredded and ripped yeah, and torn and dirty, yeah, and I'm it's aware. like you're like, Wait, where's my clothes? As you look up, because he does, it's unrecognizable. These are you're my like, clothes. These, these are my clothes, and they're like, no, we assure you, these are your clothes. It's really sure? bad. And you're like, wait, like, you stitched up the tail hole. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, there was a cut right here, and I used to like fiddle with it when I was anxious, and now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hi. You take out your sword, and you just start making all the holes again. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Uh, it's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> just for today. Just for today. Um, so you guys gather all of your things, and as you head outside... Is it like um, a jug that I'm is a to take? It is a immediate... Um, uh, slam in the face Why? as the sun is back up. That was fast. Do you do that? He looks like, like, oh, good. No, Hi. Insight. <laughs> okay. Kurt. Come Kurt. on. Go for I'm it. I'm terrible at it, but. Is this okay. better? Why are you like this? <laughs> Where is insight? Because <laughs> Mia lets her do that to Dirty all the time. 20. Is it the chair? Is it the spot that you're sitting in? What'd you get? Dirty 20. Dirty 20? Um, roll, just roll deception. I do even need Lying fuck. You know, people can probably hear you on the microphone purring. Mm -hmm. 17. <laughs> uh, no, Kurt's not lying. Seems like, seems like Kurt's just as surprised as everybody else. Hmm. And then you guys look over and you see, Oh! 
good. And he sees Stibbles Jr. walk up to all of you. He's like, I cannot find you guys. Oh, and Keo's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot about the tree boy. And he goes, I was in that park, and I was talking to all the trees. They're so nice. And like, <coughs> like, Wow. What does that mean? Where are you going um, with that? I don't know. It may give me a feeling on the inside. What kind of feeling? It's a very special feeling. Like I don't know how to describe like it. Like a staying feeling. Like a what? A what? Like a staying feeling. Like a stay? Like a staying feeling. A like, stay? Like, like you want to stay? Yeah. Stay. Like, a, like a, oh, I love this place so much. It's a great place. Yeah. It's very high. But then I got scared because I couldn't find you. Where are you going? Kia says, right. Um, <laughs> Is he fine? Uh, she she picks him up. <laughs> she dunks him in some water. <laughs> <laughs> Shake him she, off she, a little bit. She, she, hands, she hands him to Kurt. Uh, she says, follow me closely. Keep yeah. an eye on your son. You guys walk through the streets. You look over, and Kia stops as you see a literal panther walk through the middle of the cobblestone uh. street. As it's, uh, You see oh. like its shoulders sort of like pushing upwards as it walks uh, through the street, kind of minding no, uh, you no business, as it sort of finds a spot at the, uh, the corner of the street, sort of like... Uh, does a turn and flops on the ground, and just begins purring. As you see, like a cu- like two children run over towards it and just begin like petting it. They're like, ah, they're like laughing, and you're like, what the hell? It's a domesticated panther. Um, you guys continue to walk through the streets um, as uh, <laughs> you see different people going about their business throughout the day. Some people are like, oh, finally, as they look outside and they throw all their Sounds laundry outside up. to like oh. let it dry. Um, <laughs> you guys oh, then no. begin ascending. It is an uphill climb, and Kia's like, we're really getting our work in, workout in today. As you guys start heading upwards through the streets of Leonaya, making your way closer towards that enormous Kurt castle. Is oh, like yes, we know. Hovering around Kia. On their you like broom. A, you going in circles? You, you, you have like yeah, a cloak, like, right? Wow. Like, hmm? You have like a cloak. And just chatter, like chatterbugging the whole time. <laughs> All St- right. Stitch is going to grab it's on to like, Lelia's like, hood like, like hooded cloak thing mm-hmm. and then cast levitation on himself and just get pulled by Lelia. <laughs> 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 just took Stitch along. <laughs> okay. It's a Stitch balloon. Just grab onto my shoulder. Just grab my shoulder. There we go. <laughs> Uh, eventually, you guys make your way to the um, the enormous steps. This, um, and this Kia is says, payment for the Don't for worry. The and uh, she leads you guys sort Don't of around and then down and then around this like back side of the castle and then leads you over towards what looks like this small, um, like uh, uh, just a flat part of the wall, just like this built wall. It's like it's sort of like a deep beige color. She goes over towards it and she puts her f- hand on it and she sort of slides it down and she whispers something under her breath and you watch as the wall sort of f- fades Ooh. and there's like a small like elevator. What box. did she say? She said, <laughs> uh, "Roll Arcana." She That's said, what she "Open said. elevator." <laughs> <laughs> Press twenty-four. List of wind. List of wind. Okay. Leviosa. Leviosa. She said, "When God him Leviosa." <laughs> um. Uh, she says, um, don't worry, it's safe. We can skip all those stairs. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> you guys make your way over and it sort of just hums. It just, it just makes its way upwards until eventually coming to a slow stop as you guys get to the top. And when you get to the top, you are once again surrounded by uh, all types of numbers of flora. Uh, all types of, of flora. You see, um, like, uh, uh, purples and oranges and, and uh, uh, pinks. This array of flowers as you step into this garden. There's a fountain in the center with, like, um, you can see, like, like a number of st- uh, carved stone cats, like, surrounding it with water sort of, like, gently um, entering into the fountain. And uh, you see, like, trees. The, tre- t- the trees have fruits on them. You see lemons and oranges. You can see, like, pomegranates. And um, uh, it's just this beautiful garden sitting right outside the in- enormous structure of the castle before you, um, which has all sorts of entrances and exits. It's very tall in terms of its architecture, like the windows are like much more tall than they need to be um, as you peer off into that castle and just see pure darkness. Just <laughs> nothing at all. Um, but sitting in the middle of this garden on a bench, you see um, a, a, a drow woman. She's wearing this long, sort of silky, sort of um, pale, sort of purple dress. Um, she has dark skin, um, uh, 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 platinum, um, silver hair, um, sort of wavy down to like her chest. And she looks up. And she looks up. She immediately just sort of gracefully walks forward. And she eyes you, Philip. She walks over towards you. And she embraces you. Hi. I waited for you every day. And she holds your face. <laughs> and she says, look at me. 
like what you've done. I watched done. you every day. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Jean, don't be rude. Who's this a stunning woman? Oh boy. Oh, please don't. Kurt, this is my mother, Eldon. Oh, Miss Eldon, I'm Kurt, this is the <laughs> motherfuckers. Flattering will get you very far. Oh, we are going to get along. Um, this is, uh, Stitch. Hi. Uh, Phelan. Uh, you've met Kurt it's already. Good to meet you. She walks over towards Kia, she holds her hands in, um, in her hands, and she says, thank you. And she sort of nods. She looks to the rest of you and she says, I am Eldon, Queen of Leonia. I welcome you to my gardens. Um, to be fair, uh, introductions are not entirely necessary. I know who you all are. Mm. I thank you for bringing my son home. That's creepy. <laughs> um, it was, it was, uh, it was our pleasure. Right. And, and Philip, Jean wanted to come home so badly. And uh, it, we we barely had to speak one word to him, and he was just. I don't just think you should have ever mentioned. I don't. Out. I don't think I should have. I it's may not have. very often that many people refer to Philip as his birth name. Well, Jean and I are very close. I may have let it slip about an hour and a half ago. That, that's oh, my name. That was a mistake you've made. <laughs> it, it, wait about a a day. And very they close. Might forget. Very close, <coughs> Jean and I. Not as close as Jean and. Oh boy. And Kia are. Here he goes. Uh, but um, yes, but we are friends. the matter at hand, Kurt, before we make everybody uncomfortable. Oh, that's sort of I a already specialty am, of actually. mine. It's been horrible. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You, you, you mean they're not hovering? Hovering <laughs> obnoxiously? <laughs> <laughs> Circling the group? <laughs> It's oh, the only way to be eye level. Mom, one more, one more thing. Uh, this is Mom Stibbles Jr. Hello, Stibbles Jr. And he says, "Hi." I said, "My dumb." <laughs> You're <laughs> Philip's mom. Yep. You're Eugene Jr.'s mom. Uh, <laughs> yes, I am. I told oh, the no. I told the plan wow. first. He really loves you. You look a lot trees. like Lamarcia. Thank you. I think it's the other way around, Marcia little guy. Like me. <laughs> he goes, oh yeah, that's right. I'm still learning a lot of stuff. She sort of nods. Uh, she says, I also thank you for finding my daughter and doing what you can with she her. She filled us, but you know. Yeah. I understand what Marcy can no be a bit in chaotic. That. Um, <laughs> but I'm glad that we are, we have not made enemies. Follow me. And she sort of leads you through uh, the gardens. And as she sort of walks through the gardens, you watch as all of... As she walks, like, near some of the plants, they sort of open up and bloom as the petals sort of get closer towards her. Um, and she says, I have unfortunate news for all of you. My husband, the king, is dying. Sorry. He um, has been taken... It's taken him... It's a bit of an obsession of his. It's why we're here. And I'd like to explain everything to you because, well, I know that you might be our only hope. To, like, keep him alive? Indeed. He has a more formal uh, mission that he would like to meet all of you with, but we don't have time for that now. That will have to come with later. About three days he'd like to meet with you. But I'd like to explain everything first, just to get you up to speed. Oops. Long ago, um, in the uh, land that we come from, Akis, there was a um, very powerful threat that came from nowhere and seemingly was to destroy everything. Eugene, um, along with a few of his friends, were able to stop this thing. They did so with the power of a, an, ex with an, an extremely powerful magical item called the Heart of Immortals. I don't know much of the details of this thing, and really neither, no one really does. All I know is that it was, they used it in order to stop Ozymandias. When this had been done, the item was to be taken and hidden away. They all had decided this. So much so that the, the group of them, 
took each piece of that heart, hid it, and then wiped their memories of where they had put it. Put it. Little did we know at the time that because of these items that they wielded, their ancient power and magic details back beyond even the weave, the gods, and even time and space itself. Each one of them is connected to those items. Each piece that they fused themselves with became a part of their sort of life. Eugene is permanently connected to his and, well, at the time what they thought was a noble deed, in fact, just made them more lost to what they originally had. Something is happening to these items. Someone is using them. We have a good suspicion on who it is. Ever since the waning power of that item has decreased, Eugene feels weaker, and he feels as if he's dying. We've located some of them. Most of them in Kize. Linked to a specific King Urwin, one like us, who uh, I've had an encounter with before in the past. Whoa! Sorry. I felt that all the way over here. <laughs> Lycus attacked Leonia a long time ago. He um, destroyed a portion of our city, killing me in the process. Luckily, we have many very skilled um, priests here in Leonia. I, I had the ability to come back. I'm more skilled than yourself. And while I don't I don't harbor any sort of revenge towards Lycus, Eugene certainly does. He's hell-bent on finding him and killing him in whatever way he can. He knows that he is a seat of power. He knows that he controls most of Kize, and it will be war. That's why we've come here. I think there's an easier solution to this. And I think it lies in all of you. If you can find these pieces, if you can bring them back to us, maybe we can contact Ashkari and find out what to do. But at least they'd be out of the hands of Lycus. We are not 100% certain about the... Uh, state of Ashkari. Uh, one, she may be dead. One dead? of our friends saw her get. Uh, Lycus attacked her. That does change things. We were actually planning on trying to potentially find her. We or found her husband. Oh. Was stuck in time. We unstuck him, and then Lycus, I guess, took him too. But I, I, I have a question, actually, about about the Sashkari. What exactly did they do? Like, what was their Ashkari is a very powerful being known as the Keeper. Exists okay. outside of outside of time and space, and um, uh, well keeps. Ensures wow. that the universe does not f- implode in on itself. So what happened to Vern? Uh, she was an entrepreneur, a small jobs creator. Right, of course. Really but drive the economy. Regardless of, regardless of the small you know, jobs. In world that we know it. What <laughs> happens to a universe whose keeper, keeper I don't know. dies? You would think that we would have imploded on ourselves. I would agree as well, which means perhaps she isn't dead, or if she is that in future events we've saved her. Where does someone who dies go? That's, That's a trip. <laughs> someone who dies would go to the Fortress of Memories. This is our more important task. Eugene is obsessed with finding this piece of the heart. I know he will continue, but I will not let him go to war for no reason. I have a feeling he might win because Kizai's, okay, Kinzova's already fighting another war. <coughs> Either you have a connection to the Raven Queen. Souls beyond death. I don't know what power you have over this, but if you can speak to the Raven Queen, find a way to find Ashkari and bring her here. Would, uh, 
would this Ashkari know where the pieces are? If she exists outside of time, she could just look back and see when it happened, right? Ashkari's knowledge and wisdom surpasses even mine. So possibly. Yes. She's the only one who would know. Sounds like From she's what? kind of the map, then. We probably what, need to find the map to the pieces. If she's, if she's as powerful, powerful as you say, say, then she might have already had all this planned out to me. Perhaps. That is what... If, she, if she's outside of time and space, she would know what's happening. She might have put all this emotion. Because she put Laszlo there intentionally for us to find. And then we lost him. I'm sure that was part yeah. of her plan. Yeah. Lose her husband. <laughs> might be the, the Oops. One what did you say? It's fortress? Fortress of Memories. Where is this place? Shadowfell. I thought that was just nightmare, like, fuel. No, it's, it's a real place. Well, you've been there before. Yeah. We've well, not gone there, to, but we've been to the Shadowfell. Yeah, we've gone to Black Border. Of it. Super fun place to be. Happy. Do you know any entrances to the Shadowfell, any of you? I think I know where one could be. Oh, never mind. <laughs> where? Uh, didn't Aregia we fell in there? the city of Avenant. Oh. Hmm. Yes. All right, then. And if it wasn't already incentive enough to save the entirety of the world, trust me, uh, Leonine's treasury is healthy. So what's our job, then? Well, if you're um, willing, find this fortress of memories, find an entrance into it somewhere, and locate the keeper. Mm. Bring her back here. And we need to do that within three days? No. Accomplish, you have three days here. Take your time. I see, and then and then the king is going to formally give we us this mission. We can stall. Eugene can't, but I'm certain he has time. <coughs> okay. Spend your time here in the city. You desperately need a break. And then when you're ready, and when you're strong, go to the Fortress of Memories. Yeah, In three days, Eugene of... would like to meet with you to have an audience. I got a little bit of treasury to spend myself. <laughs> I'm sure you can find <laughs> somewhere to spend that coin here and there. Creepy little, oh, yeah. I got a treasury <laughs> to spend myself. <laughs> I got to yeah. I gotta empty out the bag if I'm going to refill it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're nervous about seeing your father again. But a lot of the past has been put behind him. I can't promise he'll be happy to see you again. But you should see him. That's why I'm here. Um. There's one wrench in all of this. I hate to call it a wrench. I have no idea what LaMarcia is planning. And I know she's planning. It is vitally important that she does not know any of this. Why? I don't know what she'll do. Unlike... Well... Even-tempered Jean over here. LaMarcia has taken to hate her father. Anything she can do to stop him... Even if she doesn't understand what it is, she'll take it. So you think she'd be against us then if she found this out? I know she's your friend, but you can't. I don't know who she is. <laughs> right. I know. She kind of looks towards Phelan. And, 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 uh, and really, uh, she's cool with me. I yeah, like yeah, her yeah. a lot. I know she's your friend. But the, the best we can do is keep her in the dark. She seems pretty... Like she could find things out? Are you sure she doesn't already know? Or can find out? I hope she doesn't. The floating I city might be a little bit of a giveaway, to be honest. I know she knows we're here. I oh, just... Okay. She doesn't know our reasoning. Mm, I see. We have ploys in play to keep her distracted. I see. Money. We have an entire section of our armada dedicated to Lamarcia. I have Jesus never Christ. before ever given up a friend's secret. Thank you. And I would not now. All I want is our family to be back together again. 
And the only time that we will be able to mend is if <laughs> is if she stays out of this. Yeah. We'll keep Kurt away from the Marcia. <laughs> I'm not asking you to stay away from her. No, we're going to keep don't Kurt. Tell her anything. Kurt will tell her instantly. When they I'm, said I'm that just, they This is all don't... slandered filth, I don't understand <laughs> you told, why you're even saying this. Just over the course of one evening, you told Kia and LaMarcia everything. That was us. not a secret. Everything? Kia told me. Literally what? almost everything. What do you mean everything? Kia sort of looks and she goes like this to, um, to Elden Oh. Kurt has no uh, coat and no filters, especially for anything about us. Yeah, look, I would never tell anyone about the secret tryst between Kia and Eugene. What is that happening? That would probably just not be my place at all. So, keeping you that just, secret locked up? I think everyone already knew. Throw away the key. All good. Everyone here knows. See, their chemistry is so... Red hot. If you, even when you walk in the room, it, yeah, you can't help but know. Jesus got a point. Eldon's like buffering. <laughs> I think, I think Eldon's sending what? messages. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Sorry, Eldon. We're saying out. Eldon starts buffering after Kurt goes. No, no, no what did Kurt ask? <laughs> oh no, Kurt was just talking about Kia and Philip. Like oh, always. Really? Like, it's so obvious. I didn't spoil Maybe, any secrets because uh, they were already there. Is there a reason are we you're gonna stay here? so much on that? No. They're very loud. I just, I just like no, it no. when people are happy. Kia yeah. turns, she says, I, I have a And when people get in their own city. way, cool. I like to just remove them out of their own way so that they can just do what they need to. Kia walks over towards Elden and she sort of like looks at him and sort of, she sort of whispers something and she sort of nods. And she uh, she turns, and uh, you guys uh, watch as like a, a, a glade sort of like a, like a bushel opens um, beyond like further into the uh, into the um, into the <laughs> yeah. no it's for the garden it's like a gateway it's like a, um, and uh, out of it you see a little pitter patter of feet as you see a young boy run through and run over and he goes mom and he runs forward and he runs over towards Kia and grabs her leg. Um, and, and she sort of looks down and she smiles and she sort of looks really terrified and she says and then she sort of like stops and she leans down and she picks him up and you guys see this uh, little gray skinned boy with uh, black hair and a streak of white um, she says hi Ronan and she sort of holds him and, and, then, and then you guys watch as Eldon sort of like smiles and then she just does this to Philip. Now may be a good time. Yeah. Can I? Can Are you I sure you don't want to stay really quick? and yeah, meet sorry. that strapping young fella yeah. right uh, there? Uh, wait, so, wait, hang on. Okay. So, what a, I think I'm pass what a handsome young man that is. I think I'm going to pass out. Why would you pass out? What a, what a, what a crazy thing. Someone get, someone get Gene some smelling salts or something. He should, he should be here for this. I have a feeling in my gut. And watch the kid says, Mommy, you smell funny. And she's like, I just took a bath. And he goes, I want to take a bath. And, he go, and she goes, I know, we'll, we'll, we'll take a bath. These are my friends. And, she, and he looks over and he says, Hi. And Stilbert Jr. goes, Hello. And he goes, I want a talking child. <laughs> and he goes down and he goes over and he's like, You're a talking tree. And he's like, You're a talking little guy. And he's like, oh, oh, Are you, how old are you? I don't, I don't know. They told me two, but that meant months or years. And he's like, oh, I'm like, Seven, and, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and and he goes, "Wow, that's a lot." And he's like, "Yeah, that's wow." You and he's like looking around, and they're like looking around each other, and he's like, "You're so cool." No, you're really cool, and they're just yeah. And Kia's like laughing, and she looks over, and she looks up at you, and she, she looks down, and she looks back up at you, and she says, "We should leave." <laughs> yeah, is there a place for us to stay? I have accommodations oh, for you cool. within the city. Great. Yes, oh, that's what Kia's saying. Do you know? Accommodations for us. It's right near that bathhouse, actually. What is... Mm. <laughs> it, I swear, I think Kurt, you some, hear things? I get Philip's mayor. And he, the conversation goes this way, and you're of, just... We're real yeah, high know, up. I There's know. more? We're really high up. To the conversation. I, one, one Co- what are you getting out of accommodations? 
<laughs> yes, um, Stitch. Uh, so people call I'm an artificer, so I, I, I study the weave of magic and how everything works. And I've been here for 30 minutes, and I have heard that there is someone with the power to make a city float and create a force field. <laughs> Can I speak to this Alma individual? And, um, like, is that something that could be arranged? After your um, meeting with Eugene, it may be possible. <laughs> of course. Of course. Um, I'm sure it's fascinating. Yes. Uh, there's been a lot of really weird uh, shit <laughs> that's happened since I joined up with these People. You watch as uh, uh, the kid looks over towards you and he says, Have you ever jumped off? Of this? I just uh, got here. Oh, you should totally do it sometime. It's really fun. And Kia, uh, Kia looks down and she says, Ronan, no, no, we're not doing that again. And he's like, What? Okay. And it's like, and she, and she looks up and she says, There's. It's a bear. It's new. It's part of the force field. You float down. It's very fun. We're not over the main oh, city, cool. so we're not going to do it. And he's sort of like, He looks really <laughs> grumpy. And he says, Maybe. What we're about over this? the ocean. Do you want to fall into the ocean? He's like, No. What I about do. this? Look I at this. And I'll that. click my boots would together be, and I'll start levitating. Would be a he's like, Oh, oh, where did you get those? In a vault. A <laughs> vault? Like yeah. <laughs> Where? In a place that you really shouldn't go. It's Wait, very you guys dangerous. Are adventurers? Yeah. Is that word okay? Is that to legal say here? here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elden, or Elden nods. And, um, <laughs> and he's just, that's so cool! And Kia goes over and she's sort of like, come on, let's go. And uh, you guys start to walk out. And Elden says, I'll see you all soon. She nods. <laughs> Your time. Of course. Enjoy the city. She smiles and turns away. Um, Kia leads you guys uh, back over uh, towards the... Uh, she says, unfortunately, we will have to go down the stairs. As you guys uh, make your way over to a small stairway that goes up <laughs> to the major stairway, as you get to the top of the stairway, you all sort of walk over, and then Lelia just like hitting a glass while boom, just hits it, and you nearly fall. And Kia turns around and she's like, oh, um, password Sprig. Sprig? You step forward and you pass through. I ran into this before, only it was worse. Can I Arcana that? Weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 14? Oh, you're not entirely sure what that spell is, but it's very interesting. Very similar to something like Hallow, but it seems to be some way to keep certain types I mean, of individuals. Yeah, sounds very out. religious. I didn't study. <laughs> um, I studied the practical magic. You guys make your way down the <laughs> enormous staircase all the way to the I bottom. Um, Why you can't heal? And uh, Kia looks over and she says, "Well, um, I will leave you all to your devices. Tomorrow morning, you have a reservation at the um, at the fucking." The Titus Trove. Ooh. So be on time at a.m. That's what Kurt later. wants to do. The um, fucking. I would recommend I uh, beforehand Titus making your way over to the High Town Bakery. They have really great sandwiches. Um, I'm going to take my son. Sweet. And uh, she sort of takes him, um, and she looks over at you, and she says, "We should talk." <laughs> and she walks away. I've not a word. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I think now's probably not the right time. Kurt just have to take another drink like of their, have to talk their wine never barrel. Really good. Well, maybe it's How empty really is that barrel looking? Because, you know, small man. Should, should we go to wherever these accommodations are and yeah, we sit down maybe. and... I think we're at them. Well, okay, let's go inside then. <laughs> oh, you guys, well, you guys walk over okay. towards them um, and going through the streets, kind of uh, a little bit of, uh, like, maybe four, uh, about a block down away from the bathhouse, you guys come to this, like, very large, like, um, uh, it looks like it's not an inn, what are those called? Um... Uh, no, no, no! It's a, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a big house with a bunch of rooms. Bungalow. What is this fucking called? Huh? A, a bungalow. A bungalow. <laughs> a bungalow. <laughs> a bungalow. A bungalow. A bungalow. Uh, no, it's a townhouse. No, it's not a townhouse. Condominium. What is the word I'm looking for? What? Condominium. condominium? Yes. Not a condominium. They have, they have condos in the Anaya. Um, it is. Man, what the hell is that thing called? An apartment building. No. <laughs> An Airbnb. Flat? Not a flat. No, it's not a flat. Let's tenement. name a every word for house. With a <laughs> bunch of rooms you can rent. <laughs> An apartment. 
the what fuck is this called? That's a hotel? A hostel? It's like a lodging house, I guess, is kind of like what it is. Okay. Um, you guys make your way over. Thinking of? It's about uh, three stories made of stone. Um, um, and as you guys make your way in, um, uh, there's like a, a counter and there is this uh, tabaxi woman sort of at the back. She's um, uh, a very thin, sort of pure black, um, bright yellow mm. eyes. And um, she's uh, she's like the breed, like hairless cats. Um, and as you guys make your way in, she's wearing uh, lots of very lavish, sort of like gold. And looks in, she says, oh, um, are you looking for a room? I think, uh, oh, we have, I mean, we already have. Kia that. Dahlia sent us. Oh, of course. Yes, yes. She goes over and she says, uh, you, you might are? find us under Kurt and the motherfucker. No, Probably not. not. Or uh, uh, motherfuckers, oh, comma, yes, Kurt. Yes, here we are. Oh Kurt my and God. the motherfuckers, comma, mother. Kia. Kurt. She turns and she says, and it says written Kurt and the motherfuckers. She says, is this it? There yeah, it is. No. Yeah, this is in black Kurt, and white. We are the motherfuckers. It's also written Elvish. Kia, why? Um, here you are. Why have and you forsaken she gives us, Kia? One key. One key. Do you uh, drink? No. No. Makes it Top worse. room. Okay. Do you like honey? That's uh, one of our best rooms. Honey's good in tea. You Excellent. <laughs> do, you, do you? Would you like some right now? You look like you're gonna faint. I can make a gallon of it. Of tea or honey? <laughs> honey. <laughs> Do you need yeah. any? Do you need any tea <laughs> with your house? honey? <laughs> boarding <laughs> house. Thank you. To, thank the chat because they said yeah. boarding, boarding house. Boarding house. I, was, thank I you, looked. Chad. I was like, I could probably make like a cup of honey, and then it just says one gallon, and I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. You guys make your way up <laughs> to <laughs> when you have a lot uh, of tea. The, the top level, the fourth <laughs> level of this building, and as you make your way up, there's just a single. Del- there's there's a double stairs. door in the middle of this hallway, and as you open it, it's this enormous room. There's a beautiful rug in the center. There's this patio on the back that opens up to like uh, these like uh, thin sort of curtains that are just blowing in the wind. You can see a good portion of the city from this view. Um, there's chairs, tables, there's a fireplace. Uh, there, are, um, uh, There's like a dining table in the back and there's like uh, four doors that go to four separate rooms um, kind of off in the back. Um, and uh, as you guys look inside, it's just, just beautiful sort of Freeman's top floor. Freeman's just like already at the window. <laughs> yeah, you're already at the window. You just <laughs> feel just like the like, wind <laughs> is hitting you. <laughs> yeah. This is the only way I like it. Lily just got six Is, is Stibbles Jr. Well. with us? <laughs> He huh? better be. Is Dibbles Jr. with Yeah, him? he's with you. No, I, I looked at everyone. He got lost go, again. So we're going to go to this mystical shadow fell that was only in, supposed to be stories. Like, my parents told me stories about the shadow fell to get me to go to bed. Oh, yeah, it's not so bad. We were there once. I mean, like, it's Because they, great, t- they tell you something scary. It makes you Because feel they, feel say, they say, oh, well, if you don't go to bed, then when you, you wake bed, up, you'll be in the shadow fell. Can... Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. My you, patron's one of the leaders of a massive part of the Shadow Fell. Then we'll be, we'll be good. It'll what be good is time. wrong? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. You uh-huh. know what? <laughs> Still, Junior comes over towards you, and he puts, like, a hand on your shoulder and, like, a knowing look, and he's like, you know what? You're a talking tree. <laughs> I appreciate you, though. You're a talking <laughs> goblin. That's true. Oh, wow. Every, all goblins Most talk. Most goblins talk. Whoa, really? Yeah. yeah. That's By cool. the way, are we going to go to a place called that has the word shadow in the name? Yes. With, with Stibbles Jr.? That is Apo- I, I apologize, that is, but you did crazy. almost die hey in guys, the Underdark. Hey uh, guys, I just want to <laughs> voice my concerns. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, if you guys are going to go to like a scary shadow place that doesn't have the sun again, I don't think I really want to go. Oh, yeah. I don't want you to go either. Well, we were going to oh, talk good. to you about possibly staying here. I mean, you did say that oh, really? you really liked the oh, garden. Would that, uh, would that be okay? Yeah, you could I probably stay more than the garden. Okay. Yes. I think... If that was a big stretch, sir. Jacob, no, you gotta see, you gotta see how he arrived. Just oh, give, give it, give it about five uh, seconds. Give it about five that seconds. That was so here. good. I didn't see it at all. So, that was so perfect. The instant <laughs> replay here. That's what this is. Where is it? Where is it? Where I is just it? Come it. on. Yeah, I just okay, it. the mind's gotta be catching up to it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it was so smooth. He just went. Um, all right, so, he wants uh, to be here now. There's a cat in the place, and so we're just like, "There's a cat." Sort of looks around. And he says, "I I love this place. It's it's so nice. Everybody's really great, and there's a lot of sun everywhere. Oh, it's so good." Unless don't should we leave that it, here I, I, too? I, 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 I would hope. Are you really gonna would, take the power of the would, sun would, into would, the like, shadow? Look after you as well. I think that's the uh-huh. best. Mm-hmm. Right. Just think about if we left it here. And her child, her kid that's is fair. really nice. What was that? What was his name? Ronan. 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 He was oh yeah, a you cool okay? Little guy. I don't know yet, Stitch. I don't right. know. I take he a little <gasps> cup. And I go, honey, and it's a cup of honey. Are you a whole ass cup oh, of honey? Wait, are you? I don't want to. 
fuck? You're a... Uh, right, wait, but you can you, use it. Wait. He's, hey, that's wait, like he's I don't know, whatever you're, you want. You're a... You're a poppy? A poppy. You're a papa? It's, what, it it seems certainly be, seems that way. Seems like a, yeah. Oh. Whoa. I'm guessing you didn't... You oh, didn't, I didn't... You may not a... Uh, that's yeah. why I was that, that, right. That's why I thought, at least, from the reactions of everyone. I, I thought since you guys kind of look alike. Yeah. I thought he knew. Oh, you didn't know? No. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's a hell of a way to well, show you. <laughs> yeah. Everyone loves a good surprise. I. Do you have anything I could put, like... Uh, Phelan already has like a satchel of tea. The tables oh, there you go. in this room. Yeah, are unfortunately, I can only like, use this jug once like a day for one thing. There's bottles of mead. There's bottles of. There's casks of uh, ale in the back. There are jugs honey. of wine. <laughs> yeah, there's everything you could want. It's okay. I'll, I'll take some of that tea. Yeah, yeah it's more jasmine tea that he there's got There's the, the stereotypical board with all. a knife with a loaf of bread, but only like five pieces are cut, and they're sort of slanting down on top of each other. I will. I will. Yeah. I it's will, like I will take like some of the meat. Newly made butter. Oh yeah, yeah. I will. Sure. I will take like some of the meat top. and then go out and I'll Fans take like a little knife like and I'll take a little bit of the honey and put more honey in the mead. <laughs> me, you honey <laughs> up the mead. Yeah. Jesus, it's a dessert mead. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like a dessert mead. Dang, holds Phil, out that's mead. Uh, Eugene Jr. That's hey, really crazy. You can call me Philip. This is horrible. I won't get mad at you. <laughs> but I like the work through the same. Oh, yeah, 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 no, you're good, you're good. You're what good. about... <laughs> when does Phelan drink? Philip Jr. <sighs> he likes really sweet that stuff. That doesn't make any uh, sense. So. Super honey mead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Philip, uh, Eugene Jr., fucking goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Eugene Jr., fucking and God he damn. kind of punches your leg, and it kind of hurts, weirdly, because he's made of wood. He's like, Pff. <laughs> I think you'll be like a good a dad. Thanks, bud. I wonder... This is probably not the right time. This is just like don't like like yeah. Just don't like yep. kill. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So this is, probably, this is probably not the right time to ask this, but I wonder. I wonder if, if Ronan is just like the middle name, and, and it's actually Eugene the Third. Kind of like how you're. I hope for. I think he is smart enough to not do that. Yeah. I hope not. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't really know how what you thought of that, and so I just I think asked it like a question. Yeah, now I know. There's a reason why everyone calls me Philip. Ah. Do you not like it being called? It was confusing. Mm. Yeah, that would be. I think this also depends on what Kia wants. Yeah. Too. So. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really think we should interfere in this no, at all. No. I really no. don't think we should interfere in this at no. all. No. <laughs> Looks at Kurt. Kurt. Kurt's busy putting like tobacco Kurt's, in their pipe. You know, already got machinations <laughs> planned. Right, Kurt. Thank you I very much. What you, you, were, what you, were, what? you were quiet. I haven't been paying attention. Quiet for long enough. You can say whatever you'd like now. <laughs> Thank you. I I appreciate it. I think they just forgot. Do you think uh, you think those tabaxi people have sex with humanoids? Like, do you, how do you think that works? Why? Why is it the first thing? You could go first find thing. out. Yeah. Uh, like this I think is, they like do. This is Why do you ask? Right, uh, understand it. Go find out. I guess. Uh -huh. Oh no. Well, <coughs> I will see you all in the morning. <laughs> you head out. Do we all have a room? To find the tabaxi, apparently. Well, there's four. It's like rooms. a big room, and then there's uh -huh. four rooms. Well, if shit. <laughs> if Kurt's not gonna be here for this. That's time. true. If Kurt's <laughs> not be gonna be here tonight. I'll find my own bed. <laughs> <laughs> Different bed every yeah. night. Um. Get to test them all out. You guys uh, sit and worry and wallow and also think about future events uh, while you guys uh, decide what you're going to do next. But that's where we're going to go ahead and take a break, guys. It's break time already. Break. Damn. Damn. It sure is. Find out Philip's got a son I'm, and I'm, now it's time for I'm break. I'm ordering my food right now because I thought we were going to do break in about 15 or 20 minutes. Man, ah. when we ran Strixhaven and I said Mr. Adalia, I thought you guys would get it. Nobody fucking did. And I was like, do we know Kia's last name? I think she right said it in like the first game you guys met. Yeah, she and said no it in the first game. I, was, I wasn't there and for that game. And then Jack so. asked the game after that, and I thought Jack would get it, but he didn't. I wasn't there for that game. I so. thought at least like somebody in the huh. chat would would know. No, I got oh them. We just so wait, so are they you know, the your characters universe? are interestingly, you know, like related, related somehow. We when we did the Strixhaven one shot, <laughs> Spencer went, "Can I play Ronan?" And I went, "Sure." <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. So we're oh, playing. Oh, this a has been a thing for a while. Yeah. Oh. We've been playing the future. <laughs> the future. <laughs> yeah. Future. future. <laughs> that means Strixhaven's in the evil fall. Oh, <gasps> a drinkable meal. <gasps> uh, <laughs> guys, 
I am just marking complete because I have to go down to February. So we're just taking a little second here just to go through every patron and hit mark complete on those Mark buttons. complete. Oh, yeah. man. Gosh, what are you guys excited to do in the game? Go to the magic shop and spend Ooh, my 25,000 gold. <laughs> well, Christ. Well, that's why I printed out all of these Thanks. screens Whoa! for you. Can I look magic. at them now? Uh, I will give them to you on break, yes. Cool. Um, so I can start to consider. You guys consider. start doing that in the morning if you guys want to look at them. Um, they are um, my magic item tables, sure. but they uh, I've put all the prices on them, and uh, I they're also limited at a certain level. Do, so my do I level, have a... Oh, no. They're only up to your guys' level. I don't have any of the insane items that are above yeah. your level, so yeah. they're just the... the so what there. level do I have to follow? Can I follow their level? Because I'm level, level seven. Fine, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. That's why there's two sheets. You know, magically, when you, you give me inside, the, the kids menu. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They're like, sorry, you're not cool enough for this. They right. literally go. Big shout out to our patrons over on patreoncom Arcane. Thank you guys so much. You guys have uh, uh, really been helping us out lately. So love you. It's like it's like when you when you when you're like 18 and you want a pack of beer, so you go to the guy and you go, Hey, here's 20 bucks. Can you buy me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you can you give me a bag? Can, of holding? can you give me? Yeah, yeah. Can you give me a bag of holding, please? So, I'm not I'm not high enough level to buy one. Big shout out to Doug. Mill who continues to donate fifty dollars per month. You don't have to do that, but thank you so much. Uh, Mini BM one digged in the Baron, Goblin Pirate Captain, and the crew of the Arcadian sailing to find who the fuck turned the sun off. <laughs> <laughs> Pimpin' the Hood, Mama Love and Papa Joy, Moza Mania, Will Pratt, possibly related to Chris Pratt, Duncan York, Roran Verlaine, Red Storm, John Hunter. Hang on to your rocker, it's Copper Knobber Knocker, <laughs> Josh Travis, it is Dormammu's. <laughs> To 20,000th and 24th birthday this Sunday, and all he wants, besides the Dorngen, is a shout-out. Landon, Jessica, Colton should start every campaign with at least five backup characters, and Reno, yeah. Come Fortune, and Joni, really Notorious Thieves, Amazingly Awesome, Reject the Temple of Seamen, to Heath Schmidt. you can say it backwards if you want. Uh, Dallas, please help, I'm in the basement, and they have stopped feeding me. Lane, Chin, Shurik and Sean, looking for Ed, Ed, and Eddie Kobolds, Big Hoss, Alice Ooh. Lilybottom, Copperhide Wolf, Tom Michael. The stream is now sponsored by Lowly God. Check out my newest track or album or EP on all streaming services. Kind of depressed lately. Found out I'm Colton's backup PC. Just make it a quick death, please, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> 1010 <laughs> used to be called 20 until Tamari broke her in half during the tune-in exam. That, you know what? That was really good, Jacob. That was of Col so close. Shut up. A cast of Colton's cremated characters. It's also a good one. My players rolled nat 20 in animal handling, and now they're riding a T-Rex into a yawn T battle. Uh, Micah Two. got of puns. Zav still has some spicy hot hot wings to eat in celebration of Mr. Level 3 upgrading to Uncle Level 3. Mystical Combat, Teutonic Knight, Mini H, Ethan Collins, Penguin Culture, Augusta Ada, King Countess of Lovelace, Angry Spur God, King Firehammer, Lucifer's Javelin, Danny, Against the Cult of Dugan's Hall, Mario Stahl. Thank you guys so By much. By the way, I want to know who picked the most uh, obscure fight in all of Naruto. Oh my god, it. whatever. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in a few minutes.
Hi, we're back. Thanks for waiting. Emma, my camera is facing the wrong <laughs> way. What? Yeah, it's way the fuck over there. Did it get bonked? Yeah, it probably got bonked. It got bonked. A little bonked. bit this way. We'll blame like the cats. Little, I was like, little Edward. Little bit this way. It was definitely that cat. There, uh, a little bit more. <laughs> That's too far. <laughs> That's good. Thanks. <laughs> I can bite so much All right, shit. Um, so, y'all are in the uh the the the, the place that you guys are hanging yeah. out in so are we yeah. going to skip to the next morning yes no. let's do it okay Zzz. all right best, that's what we're doing travel. that's crazy. so that uh is. we skip to the next morning yeah. um and yeah wait uh wait. and it is is the morning of the next day in uh Leonaya. You guys wake up. Um, the sun is just rising over the side of the city. Um, blue sky up ahead. Um, just just pure blue. And as you guys sort of wake up, we'll say Phelan, as you wake up, okay. and um, you come out and you just see the sunlight just kind of bl um, uh, just kind of blaring in from, um, from the patio from outside. You look over, um, and with your sort of tired morning eyes, you watch as um, uh, the rays of the sun begin to light up these clouds that appear overhead. Literally, you watch as the, pale, the, the flat blue sky, you watch as clouds begin to form in the air, and then another, and then another. And you watch as uh, the, scout, uh, the, the sky up ahead actually becomes like a bit, not overcast, but like partly cloudy up ahead. And they cast like these shadows down onto the city. <laughs> and everybody else, you all wake up. Uh, uh, the four of you are all in the room. Uh, Stibbles Jr. is like, I'm going to hang out here. That's smart. All right. All right. It's a good idea. You want to you, you go to the, the Oasis? I was going to do that, yeah. Uh -huh. he's, he's smart. He can make his own way. That's where I was asking. Oh. He just didn't want to worry you. You're fine, bud. Um, Fuck. 
<clears throat> I'm going to go Any, to our bakery. Anyone hear anything back from Kurt? No, they'll... Uh, well, wait, I got an idea. We cut. <laughs> oh, gosh. In, <laughs> speaking what? of... In, in here, right? Yeah. In this area. I and mean, it's going to be pointing in directions until I hope one of them works. Where's Kurt? Casting message. See if he's somewhere... See if there's somewhere in this, like... We'll see. Yeah. He's going, Kurt, you up? I think maybe Kurt went down Kurt, yeah. to talk to the tobacco. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, so it's the next morning. Um, <laughs> where does the tabaxi lady stay? <laughs> Here. Uh, yeah, so uh, probably Kurt is, um, like, um, stepping out and, like, wiping some litter off of the bottom of their sandals. <laughs> like, and stepping out into the hallway. And You hear a, you there? In your head? Yes. Can you respond with mending, or with message? You can just keep pointing one direction and keep talking. One direction. Mm. It doesn't say that, that Kurt can respond. Yes, so he can. Yes, he can. It, it's a big, mean, critical. You can respond to this message. Yes, he can. You can. You can say a small response back. And if you can't, eat my ass. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for you to go to the bakery. The oh. stage. Yeah, let's go get some honey buns. As you as you leave, we got the, plenty of that. You just hear. <laughs> uh, you just look back into the room and you see just this uh, tail sort of whipping back and forth. This tabaxi Whoa. woman. She says. Don't be a stranger as you leave. <laughs> Whoa, I will not be. Whoa. Um, you guys all gather up, uh, get your stuff together, head over next door, you head into this bakery. Sort of um, uh, stone um, sort of supports kind of make like a line on the inside. You guys uh, kind of make your way in. You can just smell the immediate sort of fresh bread just kind of being um, uh, 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 cooked in here. And you see all of the the ovens in the back um, are scorched from the flame um, and you see all of these pastries just <coughs> along like uh, this like glass sort of interior um, that is lit by magical spells um, and there's a number of uh, croissants uh, knotted croissants. breads uh, donuts um, uh, uh, pies and even cakes um, and as you guys uh, uh, walk over you see the um, dwarven cook sort of look up towards all of you and he says alright what can I get you uh, and congratulations, you get to make up what you want. Can I have a chocolate and a cherry croissant? Do you, go, you got it. And he goes over and he just like puts them in like a uh, like a small bag and he just hands them over towards you. Thank you. The bread has nuts and fruit in it? Yeah, there's some and we've got both and we've got some that don't have the others. I'll take the combination of one. Sounds good. Whole loaf, yep. please, please. <laughs> oh, he says, don't worry, you're already paid off. Same thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bite right into the middle of it. <laughs> 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 low, but I do have coffee as well. Yeah, I'd like coffee. She looks at him now and says, Of course, Your Highness. Walks back, fills up a Leonine to go cup. coffee. <laughs> 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 hands it over towards you. I'd like an Americano, please. <laughs> oh, of course. He pulls a uh, he pulls a shot mm -hmm. of espresso from his dwarven contraption and fills the rest up with water and he hands it to you. Thank you. It's bitter, it's burnt, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And uh, a scone. What kind of scone? Please. Just um, anything fitting. but honey. Anything but honey with a cheese? Cheese is good. Gives you cheese scum. <laughs> yeah, you've had enough honey. <laughs> <laughs> For about a month now, I think I'm good on honey. <laughs> and you got uh, a gallon you. of it. I'll have the Leonine and fried brioche. Oh, that's uh, it's one of our specialties. Yes, indeed. Um, he goes over, um, and as he takes it over on a small uh, sort of platter, he brings it, and he cuts it into fours, and as he opens it, um, you can see just sort of like melted cheese sort of in the middle, just sort of connect across, and he uh, puts it in a small bag gives it to you. It's crispy on the top and buttery smooth on the inside. Mm. It's like me. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, guys, gather your <laughs> breakfast. Like it is delicious. And eventually you guys make your way up to the... <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he was like taking up by like... <laughs> been a while since you've had good food? It's been a while since I had one of these. It's been... What's the hand? <laughs> Twelve years. Twelve years. Yeah. Just about. Just about. See, the food is very nostalgic. Yeah. Um, as you guys make your she way through returns. the... Wow. 
Um, as you guys make your way through, you know, you um, head through the winding streets and eventually make your way up um, towards the um, uh, towards this very large building. Uh, it is gilded on the outside with bronze and gold. Um, there are statues on the sides that are of this painted... Uh, um, no, sorry, they're just statues of uh, this... Uh, it's like human <coughs> uh, man who's standing very... Uh, 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 Regally? Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> and he's sort of like holding up this building as you guys get closer. And um, you can see there's like uh, bass reliefs all co- uh, uh, carved into the side of this... Um, of this building, and as you walk up, there are these giant sort of magical doors that are almost see-through, but they're a little blurry. And as you walk up, you see one of the Leonine guards sort of look down towards you, another dark elf, and he just looks at all of you, and he just says, "Ah, um, and, uh, you have a reservation? Yep. Clock native. Clock. Takes a little paper, looks down at it. Yeah, alright, uh, (laughs) go ahead inside. Um, feel free to make your way upstairs towards Speakeasy. Um, they're serving drinks up there. Everything's free. Not the magic items. Oh, no. Wouldn't think so. Of course. Um, there are warts inside, um, as well, along with, um, people watching at all times. So, um, don't try anything funny, all right? Of course. Um, he turns over, he lets you inside. The doors sort of automatically open as you make your way into this emporium. It is beautiful on the inside of this place. There's sort of this deep sort of red lighting everywhere and these floating globules of light, similar to that, Kurt, of your dancing light spell, just sort of around the room, sort of Mm -hmm. illuminating all of these items placed along the walls. Um, They have these little plaques underneath them that have descriptions and their prices underneath them. There's a um, apothecary's area for potions. There is this rack of walls for weapons. There is um, the, these uh, mannequins that have all of these armors on them. Uh, every And there's a good maybe like six other people who are in here. It's very quiet. There's like this light music sort of playing in the background as you guys um, make your way inside. The ceiling is very, very tall. Um, and you can see towards the back there's like a, a small sign that says to speak easy and it like goes upstairs. Um, what would you guys like to do? All right. We were told to go upstairs. We were told that we could, right? I'm gonna. I'm gonna immediately oh. be digging into the magic items. Sounds good. Looking around. Yeah, um, you can do so. Hey, I have a question. You said you've been there before, right? You guys, the the oh, Shadowfell. Oh, yeah. What uh, what type of what type of stuff is there? Like, like is it like undead? Is it like ghosts? Like, yes. like, undead. like if they like if there was a like for example, uh, am I gonna get zapped by lightning? Necro- gonna be necrosis. Like what's gonna be necrosis? Necrosis. Okay. Maybe, cool. gonna do maybe psychic. Quick. Cool. 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 All right. Uh, I think I know what I want already, Jacob. <laughs> uh, okay. I would say just give me a second. If you see me oh, do forehead something, shot. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, if you've seen me do something, you've probably seen what 19. what the shot of L has to offer. Gotcha. Generally speaking, of course, I'm not the entire shot of L, but I have. Close enough connection to it, I guess. Ooh. Oh, oh, my oh. forehead! <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Well, you can I, see your pores. While you all yeah. look around, I think I'm gonna go upstairs. Yeah, I'll join you shortly. They have like this, these really cool lists. So I'm just looking through them really quick. I think I already know what I want, though. <laughs> it's really cool. List. Oh yeah, uh, Jacob. Printed off whole lists for us. Yeah, of what's the inventory in the shop. Yeah, so Mm -hmm. we are able to go through these lists and figure out stuff. You're welcome. So sweet. Okay. Sorry, I was just looking a little dark on my end. I don't know what the heck was going on. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so I know some of you have some things you want to do. Yep. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with you, Lilia, because I know you have things that we have prepared for you to do. Yep. Okay, I am going to take this moment to just listen and eat. <laughs> Sounds good. Yep. Um, so, you have a bunch of things you want to sell. There is an area that you can't... Well, hang on, give me a second here. What I'll say is I want to buy something and sell stuff to try and make up that I price. Know. Uh, as you are kind of milling through this, but here, let's do, mm-hmm. uh, let's do, let's do this, let's do this. So I'm getting music. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I was going to ask, like, what type of music is playing in here? Uh, soft, ambient, tavern music. <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, that sounds about right. Not royalty-free jazz? Mm-mm. 
<laughs> Here, this is what playing on the inside. For, for the party, for the party, just anyone. Uh, I have 3,000 gold not currently attributed to things I'm buying. Okay. If you guys need a little extra. So there's 3,000 gold just in the open if anyone needs it. Okay. I'm going to try to... Uh, 3,000 per person or just in... 3,000. Just in general. Am, okay, cool. Currently, That's I have all my stuff I'm, together. I am currently I'm, spending 22,000 gold. Well, <laughs> depending on... Um, all I did, all the I price did. of what this what it is, I might be spending a lot of money this, here too. So. This is what's playing on the inside. There's somebody in the corner, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's just a, like it's an a actual magical piano. piano. I was going to say, it's a magical player piano. Yeah. You know how they have the player pianos, but yeah. instead of mechanics, it's actually just literally magic. Unseen mm -hmm. servant. You actually, yeah, I was going to say, you have Unseen like, you actually servant. see. I almost say that you, it's like you can see the hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that'd be cool. That'd but be there's cool. no body. Like two, like. Um, Gosh, you see red in the corner of my yeah, eye. Yeah, it's the regal red color of this place. Um, so, uh, you can sell a lot of stuff. In there. Mm -hmm. uh, give me one second here. I'm doing so, math on one last thing. Yeah. Okay. Part of this is also, so what I am going to sell is dependent upon... what I can get. Okay, so you can sell uh, your list, which you had, which was your yep. uh, Pipes of Haunting, your Ring of Fire Resist, your Ring of Acid Resist, your Silver Raising, your Boots of Levitation, your Ring Manual of, of Flesh resist. Golems. Uh, if you wanted to... Um, I you prefer not to sell the boots if I can help it, but that depends on... I know. We can get um, her now, guys. So let me give you the total for everything. Yep. <laughs> two, three, one, two, three, four. Um... <laughs> So, wow, that's funny. So, um, with if you sell everything, I sell everything. You get to fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty gold. Okay. Without the boots of levitation, it's thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty. Thirteen thousand seven hundred. Okay. And what I'm describing as a talisman of the Pact Keeper, okay, is twelve thousand gold. Okay. While a talisman of the pack, uh, plus one, while a plus two is 16. Though. That's what I thought. Okay. So, so if you sell the, you could add in your own funds, which is about yeah. 5,000 if yeah. you wanted to, and you could get the plus two. Yes. Uh, the plus three is unavailable. Okay. That's perfect then. Um, I will sell everything but the boots of levitation. Okay. And um, how much was it for? Oh, yeah, 16,000. So I'll, mm -hmm. I can put in, what is that? Um, here, I can do it for you. No, I got, I got, I got a whole okay. thing set for it already. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's go. She is. One, three, seven. <laughs> five, Spencer just messaged me that the baby's kicking her. Big kicking. Big kicking. Yeah, <laughs> that's clearly. She's like classical music, my favorite. <laughs> so that's. Mm-hmm. Let's she all take this seven, moment to look at the Lelia art. <gasps> yep. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, just I wait till we get Phelan. <laughs> Did. She's complicated Ooh. with her age. It is a high ma'am, not a, so not a high mommy. I am looking <laughs> disrespectfully. No. <laughs> I just said the era of of me simping for uh, uh, Lelia will end the second I get that Lamar okay. right. You You guys, Kay. in the chat, Jacob went, mommy. We all went, <laughs> so no, 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 like, no, no. So, yeah, Jacob doesn't know what a MILF is. <laughs> She's not a MILF. She's mommy. There's it's a difference. Mm. There is a difference. Mm. Right. How would you know, Grace? How would you know? How wouldn't I know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you, you do your math? I do my math. Okay. I'm going to sell everything Love. except for the boots of levitation mm -hmm. and put in um, 2,250 gold. You're there you go. staring into the red and light. You <laughs> are, and that's exactly 16,000. You purchase this uh, amulet. It is triangular. Um, it is made of this uh, uh, silver um, and it has this black band that goes around you. And um, as soon as you put it on, um, the symbol in the center automatically, as you put it on, uh, becomes the symbol of the Raven Queen. This, oh, um, this immediate, like, it just forms in the center, just <laughs> out of, like, this purple flame. And you see, um, like, a raven in the center as you attune to it. And immediately you feel this deep sort of connection to your magic that strengthens. Like, they, um, you almost hear, like, the call of a raven in, like, the back of your head, and you just... You feel so much deeper and connected to your magic. 
Um, all right. Anybody else? That's me. I'm buffering. Buffering still? I go upstairs. You make your way upstairs. Yeah. Do you? I do. Kurt, do you make your way upstairs? Um, to <sighs> Kurt's gonna sell and buy some things. Oh, okay. Uh, Philip, you make your way upstairs mm-hmm. into the speakeasy. Um, uh, there's a bar. It's very dimly lit in this area. Um, you can hear that piano music still playing. There's a couple of tables that some people have taken. And um, uh, there's like these low hanging, sort of like orange glowing lanterns. <laughs> and um, as you make your way inside, you are um, handed a menu. And um, uh, it's just a small little drink menu. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, uh, as you look over, you can see a bunch of like imported wines um, and uh, th- uh, three cocktails. That uh, you and I came over there. I there. did. <laughs> um, unfortunately, my character does not drink, so he goes up here to just sit. Oh, just sit. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Um, cool, 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 cool. Everybody's doing insane math. Don't you love shopping episodes, guys? <laughs> I, I, I can step in. Are you going to step in? I, thank you. Save me. Please. <laughs> Can you turn the air? Mm-hmm. Dang. Not my job. Okay, so <coughs> Stitch has been going from from area to area, yeah, 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 type to type, you know, looking at the armors, uh-huh, looking at uh-huh. the weapons, looking at the random knickknacks, looking at the scrolls, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, grabbing things, putting things back because they cost too much, or he finds something he likes more, and eventually he just has this pile of stuff in his arms. <coughs> and it reads as follows. He has... Uh, Three, reviv- three scrolls of revivify. Okay. Which is 1860. Is that including the diamonds? Yes. Okay. An animated shield. Okay. A mace of smiting. Yep. A ring of resistance ne- to necrotic. Oh my god. Sovereign glue. <laughs> and <laughs> universal solvent. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much power. <laughs> and, it, and it comes out to 21,860 gold. Mm-hmm. You gonna buy all that? Yeah. You got it. I have 25,000 gold. You so. purchase a bill <laughs> thing of stuff. He can't reach the desk. Can you just, you know, shove the like, money out there? Uh, Mesa Smiting doesn't need it. Three River Five Scrolls won't need it. No. Uh, the Sovereign Glue and Universal Solvent doesn't need it. Ring. Uh, the ring and the shield does, but I'll just unattune from the shield that I'm currently wearing. Got it. The Speaking of that, one second. I, I'll buy another scroll, which is a third level scroll. 200 gold, so 2260. Got it. Uh, remove curse, remove the curse from myself because of the shield that I currently have, and then animated shield. Nice, yeah, the animated shield, speak its command word, it does require two with the animated shield. Yeah. Um, and it leaves I love it. And it hovers shield, into your space to protect you if you're revealing it. Leaving your hands, for, how much was the animated shield? 6,000 gold. Yeah. Uh, the shield remains animated for one minute and until you use a bonus action to end the effect until you are incapacitated and die. That's pretty nice. Uh huh. Um, yeah, so I have 3,000 gold. Mm-hmm. It's very cool. And I will sell my shield of missile attraction if they'll take it. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> how much was that? About that. I don't know if that's on. I found it. I don't know if the shield of missile shield. attraction oh. is on this. <laughs> Let me check it. Give me one second. Uh, yeah, it's 6,000. Um, they'll buy it for you for 3,000. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Didn't think I was even going to get that much for it. Nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it, normally, anywhere else in the world, um, most magic items will be bought at one-fourth their price. But here in Leonia, because it's uh, accommodation for them, you guys are VIP, and um, you uh, uh, and it's pretty easy access for them with the, this large trove. Uh-huh. Um, they will buy them for half. All right, so animate it. I'm going to have to put all this stuff in my thing now. Add item to my equipment. Uh, and then he'll go up to buy some drinks. Buy some drinks. Celebrate his uh, Make your way upstairs. newfound As riches. you head up, um, uh, it's this... <laughs> I, I, did you hear when I described it? Sort of yes. slowly lit sort of room. Um, and as you go over, you see Philip is just sitting with a glass of water. <laughs> he'll get a drink. Like just one of the cocktails? Oh, yeah. Well, there's, there's different kinds. What are the three cocktails in? There's if important you have wines, and there are three different cocktails. One of them is called the Queen's Grace. Um, it is a flowery sort of drink with raspberries and lime. Um, and it has a bit of like a ginger sort of soda in it. And okay. um, it is uh, marketed as contains flowers brewed from the Queen's Gardens. That's cool. Uh, there's a sun drop. It's sort of lemon and honey with some rum. 
Oh, and okay. uh, and a moonlight serenade. It's uh, it's a deep violet uh, sort of drink. It's glittery. It has lavender. It has a sugar rim with blood orange and sort of like vodka. The I personally one. would want that. Yeah. <laughs> that one? The second one. The second one. Grace the sun drop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get the sun drop. It comes with like this wide sort of glass, um, uh, and it's maybe about like this tall. Mm-hmm. Um, as, as you bring it over and sit it down, it's this deep yellow kind of golden color. As you sit next to Philip, who's doing that right there. Pats your back. Hi, Stitch. Hey. Not you don't drink? No, it makes things worse. Ah. Wow. Mm. When I'm done, you good? With all my stuff, I'm, I'm really I know I didn't. Know, I didn't know. I didn't. Haven't known you for very long. I've known you for like a day, not even. But uh, yeah, it seems I'm like you're going through a prison, lot right now. So I'm great. Thank you. Cool. Yep. All right. Well, uh, <clears throat> Lily comes up at this point. Puts his bag up and he starts organizing stuff, figuring out where he's going to put the shield, mm-hmm. figuring out Where'd where. Where'd you get there? Uh, animated shield, uh, this ring, which will help me with necrosis, because you guys said that necrosis was bad. Uh, these re- these scrolls will revivify, in case anyone dies, uh, cause we lost our cleric. Uh, <laughs> and then, <laughs> huh? Oh, the white-haired guy. No, the, the, the white-haired guy that, that Phelan didn't well, want to talk about. I guess you can say we've lost two of them now. We have 100% mortality rate in our white-haired cleric. White-haired guy? <laughs> I don't know. White-haired guy? If anything, you're the white-haired guy. <laughs> You're not even a guy. Uh, and then, oh, and then this. Um, and it's the universe. Phelan, <laughs> it's a sovereign glue. I'm going to find a really good use for it someday. The wizard? That's Brother Lamar. Oh. Brother Kyrian. I don't think I met him. That would well, explain a lot. Well, we, 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 we met him um, in uh, one of the dwarven towns. Uh, right. Dim Dim. <laughs> dim Dim. I don't think I went there. No, it was kind of... It was quite a journey from where you were to there. That's good. That's good. Do I want a 20 dex? <laughs> or do I want a 19 constitution? <laughs> well, I have a 19 spell save now. Oh. Sheesh. All right, give it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give it back. I picked the gold. Yeah, I know. I don't know which one I want. Oh, it's all the bag of beans. All right, are you ready? Yeah. All right. No. Um, Kurt is going to sell... Their ring of jumping, their flame tongue sword, their medallion of thoughts, um, okay. and they are going to buy. Did you add up all of those? Yes. And uh, did you half them as well? Yes. <coughs> cool. Um, they're going to buy a level three spell scroll of water walk. Cool. Uh, a level two spell scroll of augury. That's a good one. A level one spell scroll purify food and drink. Cool. Um, and they are going to buy bracers of defense. Are those all ritual spells? Yes. Oh, very cleric, cool. cleric rituals. Very cool. And bracers of defense. Bracers of defense. Uh, which are? Do do bracers of defense stack with mage armor? Uh, let me check. Uh, so, yeah, those are six thousand. Let's double check. Because if they don't, then I probably not buy them. Yeah, no worries. You're like, can like, you know, I'm going like defense. this, and you're like, nah. Okay. No. You can you can have those and have uh, major. Oh, dope! Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And cool. then, um, Kurt, in- instead of going upstairs, does want to go find the um, the uh, palace of Umberly. The oh, okay, sure. Uh, you you uh, we'll we'll get back to that. Okay, um, but you have all those things. Now. Excellent. Sorry, I am almost done. You're good. You are all good. We'll go back to. The people upstairs. Yep. So, I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> this so is a mission that we still don't have a lot of information on, right? If we're going to do I this, guess so. we don't even know if like we can even like find this Ashikari there necessarily. You're the one that knows the, uh, the boss. I have a well. I. I well, that's kind of why I'm bringing this up. There's, I think I have a possibility of finding that information out beforehand. Okay. It'll take, it took me a little bit of time to do so, but. Like where she is? How long is a little bit? An hour. Oh, shit, yeah. Wow. Not, not, not super long, but. You just yeah, we were here for three days. I'll, I, 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 can't, I, can't be, I can't be interrupted, is that? So. We're gonna be here for an hour. Go to the room and don't tell Kurt you're there. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I don't need 
what should I ask? Because I have just any question back. How many? One. Yeah. You can only ask one question. This is a more powerful thing. So I can ask anything. This is your card ability. Yeah. Can I do this one time? One time. Um, <laughs> For today's game session. Yes. <laughs> Um, so one time until you feel the power return. For yes. Lelia, it's just you don't know when yeah, you can once do it per again. game session. So yeah. for Lelia, it's just I can do it sometimes. I can, but yeah, no. I, I, I understand how like how it would kind of work, but not exactly. We can also wait here because people are still looking down below. Yeah, I I have it decided. Like okay. I'm I'm ready. Okay, uh, uh, I'll go over to you. Cool. Uh, what Sorry. what you doing? Um, the only one I didn't know was how much the Ring of Fire Resistance would be sold for, because I couldn't find it. Uh, that would be 3000 It'd be sold for that? Sold for 3000 cool, It's 6000 cool, cool, to buy. Cool, cool, cool. Got it. I must have just not seen it. Um, it's re it, it doesn't specify. It's just resistance. Is all oh. Yeah. yeah. Intriguing. The same. Um, he's going to sell a Marble Elephant, Deck of Illusion, the Ring of Fire Resistance, and okay. then he's going to buy four potions of superior healing. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is that is you are being the responsible adult <laughs> well, both of them are being the responsible adults yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You're uh, elven boots and I own stone of agility which Ooh, very cool that's why I was like dex. is your dex by two yes to max of 20 yes nice <laughs> nice what was the other one um, elven boots boots of elven kind yeah, yeah. sorry Advantage on stealth. Mm -hmm. Cool, you've got those. Uh, Phelan comes upstairs with a uh, new boo goofing. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> he kicks. The Air Jordans. <laughs> those are those are, no, those, are levi those are levitation boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Air Jordans, <laughs> Air Jordans are the levitation boots. <laughs> those are Adidas. But Colton, they say Air in them. Exactly. Why would they be Adidas? <laughs> fuck. Why the fuck did you say that then? <laughs> and the front side stream. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Uh, Y'all are together now. Except for Kurt. Hey, where'd Kurt go? Yeah. I'm um, not surprising. I haven't seen him. Okay. Okay. They kind of do that. Well. We could go back to the. I could get house. used to living like this. If, if, if you want to stay on the house, we can. Or if you guys are enjoying it up here, we can stay here. Well, how long are we able to stay here? Kurt left, right? We had a reservation. Can they can they come back? That's true. Maybe the house might be a little better because it might be a little... I don't want to use the word disturbing, but it would be a little weird. Probably. Uh, what I'm doing. Quick question, Phelan. Yes? Do you know what you would ask a uh, a powerful demigod-like being if you could I'm, ask it any one question? Technically, I'm not even asking her. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm accessing. It's not for me. Knowledge. It's for Lelia. <laughs> it's the Raven. The Raven Queen has a what kind of knowledge? What's oh, yes. your problem? <laughs> I'm. I'm actually. Kind of, so what my thought is, I'm kind of differentiating it between that and commune, where I'm instead of like I'm asking the Raven Queen directly. I'm so like. I'm more accessing the memory, the memories that the Raven Queen has taken. Kind there of you thought. go. That's so it's not like directly asking the Raven Queen and more. Indeed. So, I mean, we can ask her, you can ask her a lot of things. Yeah. What in particular? Well, I was wondering about this whole mm, this mission that we're going on. Getting uh, more specific information, knowing what we're getting, getting ourselves into, kind of thing. If, if we're even on the right track. Why don't you just ask her that? Are we on the right track? If you put so much faith in her. I don't put faith in her like that. I'll see. Yeah, well, for only g are we only going there to find Ashkari? That's. As far what as do I you mean? mean? Like it, what? You seemed to know a whole lot about this place, this entrance. I'd have gone there for a reason. I found out about I, it for a reason. I just know where I, I've heard. From when we talked, well, you weren't there. No. But when we were on the island, that bird creature made reference to a place that I'm assuming I know what, what, where it is. 
what, where the entrance to the place is. And I just know generally the concept behind the Fortress of Memories. I've never been there myself. So I literally n never went. <laughs> so before uh, before uh, we found out that Ashkari was possibly there, what was the motivation of you? Fi like like why? Like well, we why did you we know? Weren't, we weren't headed there yet. We had no purpose. Right, but there yet, yet is the key word. We were told that there's a possibility that, there, that it was there, and that. Um, but what is there? My guy can do back a, a portal <laughs> to the fortress. Right, but. If, if the only you're, reason you're, why we're going there is to know, if, is to find Ashkari, mm -hmm. maybe you should ask your god if Ashkari's have been there. That's my thought as well. If she's up. And if she's there, she's dead, and we'll need to find a way to bring her back. And okay. I guess my question she's is... not there. She's probably with Lycus. Is that the only reason we're going? I don't know. Is there any other reason? If we already, if you already knew where it was, and you're saying that you didn't go yet, I believe that the portal might be in my own home. Okay, I might be missing something, but I don't see the significance of that. I bring up my my family, where we died. Gotcha. Which <laughs> like this silhouette of this like dark black sort of <laughs> dripping silhouette of what looks like an elderly man who's like <gasps> okay and it, like comes out and sort of like uh, that makes more sense the room. I, I so it's more sort so of vague and then he so it's more a personal out. thing why I don't even know if I would want to return right now I left right on a happy note but my assumption from things can be happening there. Also, there is Cole. Who? You, you, you never met her. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. We have a lot of people under our belt. Oh, <laughs> um, old friend of ours that seemed to have gone to the Fortress of Memories. Okay, so we're not only going there for Ashkari. We're going there for you, and we're going there for this core person, too. Core's is she there? I know that when she, when she took the talon, it seemed like she was heading towards there. So no, I do not know if she's there or not. Took the talon? talon? Core's alive? No. no. <laughs> Why are you talking about that? What talon? Oh, you feel this not this either. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh gosh. That's right. I'll let Philip know. Talon of Orcus. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Do, I, do I know what that is? Yeah, Does he, Stitch know what the talent of Orcus is? Oh, Arcana? Core? Wasn't alive? Uh, but she took it. Wait. And I have a plus seven. Like a remember ghost? When I was, remember when I was Wanda. telling her that I was seeing Core? Wanda Orcus. Yes. She, the talent connected to me forcibly. Okay. Core manifested as this weird inky creature took the talent and ran off and jumped off a sh off of Lamarcia's ship. Okay. Good, 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 good. And good. seemed to have been wanting to get to the Fortress of Memories. But also has the talent of Orcus. But also has the talent of Orcus. Which means your god probably wanted the talent of Orcus for some reason. Isn't Orcus like really bad? <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> if she did, she didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Which I feel like that's me. how most gods are. They leave you in the dark until you do their yes. work. Yes, uh, well, I mean is that she could have told me that she wanted it, and I probably would have, without, not without question, oh, but certainly... Kurt would have thought to this I will, uh, Since <laughs> I am the... It's a good thing Kurt's away health. at the moment. Mm -hmm. Hers. Right. I don't know why she wouldn't have just had me deliver instead. All right, so pending Which Kurt... makes me question whether or not core had a different so then pending cart we're looking for this talon we're looking for your friend we're looking for ashkari and we're looking for solutions to your past traumas i would say that's a secondary thing but yes okay why, why don't you ask if there's a way to holy get shit safe, <laughs> each one safely that's fair that's a really good question because if we get there and we find Ashkari, but none of us can get back, then we're fucked anyways. We're going to go there anyways. There's more than one reason to go. 
it's a place that doesn't mm -hmm. sound like we can come back from without sacrificing something. Yeah, that's a good question. Hey, Kurt, get up here. We're talking about important stuff. No response. There's no response. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt's gone. Kurt has left the building. We cut. Kurt. Kurt, you have made your way to this enormous temple built out of uh, um, what looks like uh, wood. But it's, it's, it's very ratty looking. It is... Um, it is not, uh, it, it is sort of like built up by like these pikes that point, point into it. It almost looks like a ship, like, um, pieces of a ship sort of push into this thing. Mm -hmm. And you notice that the entirety of this building is almost built with driftwood. Mm. It sits at the top of this hill that overlooks the cliff side of Leonia on the back side, sort of near the district where it starts getting, um, very high, about midway through there. And as you get over towards the edge, you feel the wind sort of hitting you. It's kind of moving the grass and you look off and you just <coughs> see the expanse of the world underneath Leonia just going on forever. Um, and you see the ocean as well. And you almost hear the waves. You see some people standing on the outside of what uh, uh, of this temple where this painting up the top of it is of uh, two waves sort of crashing inwards towards one another, the symbol of Umberley. You see this um, elven woman with sort of like a tinge of like blue skin sort of look over towards you, gills at the side of like her body. As she uh, comes closer, you notice that there are fins along the side of like her arms and um, the back of her head. And as she wears like these long sort of robes, she comes over to you. You can tell she's armed as well. Mm -hmm. She comes over towards you and she says, "Child, you have found your way home." Yes, indeed, I have. This is the first proper church of Umberley. Indeed, in this temple we serve the sea goddess. I would greatly like to see what you have here. She sort of turns and leads you inwards, and as you head in, this musty sort of smell um, of wood and um, in the sea air, sort of salty as well. It's large, very big on the inside. There's, a couple, there's about three stories. It's all open, and you can see the three stories sort of go off into other sections. Mm -hmm. And in the center is this enormous um, statue of the uh, um, built out of like driftwood and mm -hmm. different pieces of wood and this enormous trident sort of in her hand um, and you watch as like her head is sort of turned upwards and there's a ship in her hand like a, a tiny miniature ship as she like destroys the ship and her the bottom of like her body is waves um, mm -hmm. and it's painted and it's beautiful and so for one who's actually seen the aspect of Umberley it's fairly accurate mm -hmm. as you step in um, you swear you feel the rocking as if you're on a boat once mm -hmm. again um, everything in here is wet. <laughs> and as you look around to other people who are sort of like sitting around the temple, sort of either praying or um, uh, making donations or speaking to one another, um, you look around and you see there are uh, lots of different, um, it's almost like a museum at the same time. There are um, uh, pedestals with different uh, uh, objects and uh, things on, on top of them. There are also um, writings along the walls of like holy religious sort of um, uh, uh, euphemisms and quotes uh, that go with Umberley. Mm -hmm. For example, one of them says, uh, coins are what matter, and to earn coins one needs roads with love of Umberley. Mm -hmm. You see another that says, <clears throat> uh, 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 you see one that just says, one with the sea, die with the sea. Um, uh, and you're here? Um... Yeah, I've got temple music. There we go. Kurt is going to go to... Do they have an alms box? Yeah. Alms Kurt is going box. to go and uh, make eye contact with this priestess and just say, The wet right hand of Umberly has returned for the very first time. And they upend their bag of holding and 10,000 gold... <laughs> Sort of looks down. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, echoing. People are looking down. <laughs> Ding. And then one silver piece. <laughs> this is most generous. This she is has brought the sea you to us. Will. Sorry. No, no, no. You're fine. I've <laughs> <dragged> you. <laughs> 
I would, um, if you would, I would like to lead us all in perhaps some shanties. Shanties, you say? Shanties. First, I must inquire. Why is the Wave Mother brought in here? I struck a deal with her to murder my father. And we did that. And now, I am at her whim. Rather, I am at her pet's whim. All are at the whim of the waves and the storm. Indeed. And I find myself buffeted upon those waves. Those waves have crashed me on the shore of Leonia. Friends of a favored son, you know. Indeed. We have been waiting for a prophet to come here, to make contact with our god. Long we've been away from the sea. It is good to finally return, and one such as you has been bestowed upon us. Come, let us join in shanties. And then uh, no, <laughs> the entirety of the temple uh, just begins to this rowdy sort of uh, a raucous um, uh, shanty singing, just belting these people who uh, put their whole into, um, into each and every song. Some of them even, uh, uh, it's, it's angry mm-hmm. and emotional and... There are even others who are served at this temple who you can tell are like victims of the sea. Some of them who are missing appendages. Others who look they spend too much time out on the waves. Others their skin baked for far too long. And they've turned that into their fear. The fear of Umberly that they now serve. And as this kind of goes on, there's like a storm that appears overhead. This lightning and thunder. And uh, that kind of we zoom out away from that of the temple and come back over towards you guys. You, you can now hear like the cracks of thunder sort of in the distance. Um, and Philip immediately sort of like turns up and looks around um, as we come back to you guys. I think someone may have upset my mother. <coughs> <Huh>. <laughs> she does that oh. when she's upset? She controls the weather. Right. But those poor people. Is she the one that made the clouds this morning? She makes the weather every day. Your That's really cool. Pretty powerful. <laughs> oh, I mute mean, She's done it ever since I was young. Wow. That's cool. I mean, yeah. unless it's a nice day, and then it's, she just normally lets it be. Hmm. Your mother could. Does she normally make. Oh, weather. wait, yeah. You I said just, someone made her mad. She's a very powerful cleric. Mm. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> yeah, I know not everyone's mom can make the, the sky change. Yeah. Well, I also know like just like, mm, mom's interesting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, What's it like to have one of those? <laughs> oh. uh, I had a dad <laughs> and a brother. <laughs> and that's it. So. Um. You're the one asking the question. Yeah, in the end, I don't think it's up to us. I think it's up to you. Yeah. Sure, I, I want what I'm doing here to be beneficial for it. I think the best question to ask if we're going no matter what is whether or not we can get out. Yeah. Safely. If you were to safely. Yeah. With like our souls intact and stuff. Like, um, I don't want to, I like my soul where it's at. Um, That's fair. Don't enough. Also, we probably should just go back to our, uh, yeah, let's go lodgings yeah. to do this. Yeah. Kurt will find us. <laughs> we should lock the door, though. I don't think they took a key. You guys head out of Speakeasy with all your new fancy toys and make your way back over towards uh, the, um, the your, your your place. Uh, it's empty, except for Stibbles Jr. Uh, I'll, leave a, I'll leave a note on the door. Oh, no, he went to the Oasis. Just yeah. I'll leave a note There's on like the door note. that says, it says Kurt, and then underneath where it says Kurt, it says... Uh, Lilia doing important shit. Don't barge in. No, don't do that. <laughs> just, lock, just you know, like bar the door or something. Like, the I think they'd come in through the window if you did that. Yeah. Be but I mean, just, the, the note just saying there's fine. important stuff going down. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, also, still just you can't read or write. Okay, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> he takes a paper and just don't write anything <laughs> on there. We'll just say she's taking like a nap or something. Well, oh, are you, are you doing it in one? I guess they could do it in one of the rooms, huh? And then that way, if Kurt comes in, we can just be like, she's taking a nap. Fair enough. I think Kurt's decent enough not to stir people with naps. I, it's hard to sleep around them, so I don't know. 
Okay. Um, well, if you're gonna take your uh, nap, I'm gonna go uh, find Kia. Yeah, good luck. Do you? Do you no, I think yeah, I'm gonna. Alone. I'm gonna do this by myself. I'll uh, see you all uh, later. All right. Good luck. He grabs the. the I don't want any honey. Well, I was gonna say you can make beer. Well, you don't I drink. Don't drink. You don't drink. You don't drink. Uh, makes things worse. Kia is very nice. I know. Are you at least gonna try to be friends? Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. You play cards. <laughs> As you step Not outside why. the building. Mm -hmm. We got an hour. I could teach you. And you, you go over towards the doors, <laughs> and you cards. head out by yourself, and you look off towards the road. You hear an applause from behind you. And you look over, and you see about group about six people uh -oh. look over towards you, and they're just cheering. And they're just like, the prince! The prince uh -oh. returns! Uh-oh. They're just like, uh -huh. good to have you run. back! Run, buddy, We've run. missed your presence. Uh, thank you. And some of them sort of, like, bow towards you. Uh, uh, bow back and uh, try to get out of there as... Uh, awkwardly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> you do so, and as you turn job, and sort of buddy. walk down um, uh, uh, and, and sort of like awkwardly sort of move down, you look forward and you <coughs> see that woman. Just a flash. Staring at you. You blink and she's gone. That's new. <clears throat> we'll come back to you guys. All right, um... I don't know. What you're we're we're playing cards. About. Yeah, okay. apparently I'm being taught how to play cards. Aww. Oh, cards. I, I pull out. <laughs> Cardass. I pull out. Whoa. <laughs> I, I know. I know. This is probably not not the way that the deck is intended. But would you allow me to use my deck of illusions? And can we can we play the equivalent of Yu-Gi-Oh? Why? Why All is right. it instantly? Right. A, go a goblin Yu-Gi-Oh exists. <laughs> yes. Go <laughs> goblin monsters. You. Uh, you. <laughs> That's you so teach cool. you teach how to play <laughs> goblin monsters, <laughs> which is just Yu-Gi-Oh. I imagine that the the deck of illusions is just small, like it's a little deck. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And um, yeah, it's little tiny illusions that that mm -hmm. appear on the card. Hologram. Yeah, it's yeah, so when you play it, it. Yeah, the Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, like the Star Wars holograms. <laughs> <laughs> Phelan just keeps summoning monsters and is like, why, why are we playing as them? I don't like this. Phelan, you don't have enough Stitch mana just all to cast that card. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 look. There's, no, there's one, there's one hero touch. called like Great Hero Gaia. That's basically like what you do. <laughs> like it's a dude with two swords or he has a lance. It changes. He has two swords and he has <laughs> it a lance. It turns into a lance. You can connect them and it yeah. becomes a lance. Colin just wants to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. That's the that's fusion. All. That's actually it. All right, you're taking a nap. <laughs> I, well, I'm, so, so I would describe how this goes on. No one is there to see it, sure. but... Um, I don't disturb you. So she sits at like, 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 like a desk that's in the room mm -hmm. um, and brings out her journal and brings out her pen and she writes down on to the paper the question. And the question I'm going to ask is, um, is there a way for us to leave the Fortress of Mary safe? Um, and how I imagine this goes, she then like writes that down, puts the, the pen on the paper b beneath it, and pulls out the kind of shadow mask from mm -hmm. her pack thing, puts it the on. The shadow pine mask, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that is more. I, I, I say. It's, I, I call it the shadow mask. It's it almost like it's created from the shadows. Mm -hmm. it, it's not physical ever. It's, oh, cool. It's cool, technically cool, cool, cool. the disguise self, but I've cut, cut, like, the mask that she puts on, um, and she just kind of sits there and waits as like the mask shifts into like different forms and different people. Her shadow kind of changes, and then she like starts writing the answer. That's cool. Yeah different memories sort of flood into mm -hmm. you as the memory of whatever this thing could be is possibly put down into you. Um, you asked, can we leave the Fortress of Memory safely? Is there a way for us to leave the Fortress of Memory safely? Okay. Um, it's not that this is a difficult answer, it's just that there's a way I want to word it. Yes. And I'm, and I'm, I'm just going to read out for the chat just to know. Um, once per game session, I can spend one hour contemplating past events, future ones, choices, consequences, and all those in between. You can ask one question, doesn't matter if it's a yes or no, mm -hmm. um, in which you will receive a truthful answer at DM's discretion. Uh, and you, uh, what's, the, what's the tarot one for that? Um, reflection. Yeah, reflection. Okay. Um, so.
you get back yes if you find the way out That's it. Many have been lost. Many have escaped. The strength of your souls be the key to your freedom. That's all you get. Okay. After that, I should put the pencil, or the pen, down. Just kind of leans back and take and the mask just dissipates. Okay. Okay. Kind of like stands up and walks out of the room. So. We're like, we're like mid-game here. Hey, hey, don't attack that one. I like that one. Don't attack that you one. Like, <laughs> Run away out. We even lost me. Let's get Yeah, you love magic. You're like, don't attack that guy. He's so cute. So yes. Stop. In short. It's a guess in short. Yes. That's what I got. Goal. So yes, it's a way, but we have to steal ourselves for it. It seems like. I mean, let's be honest. Did we? Did any of us think it was going to be easy? No. But. But at least we know that there's a possibility. Mm -hmm. It's better than nothing. I suppose. Let's just hope our souls are strong enough. Yeah, it'll be fine. My brother didn't seem to like the Raven Queen enough all that well. Are you sure she's someone that has our best wishes? I, I kind of trust my brother more than somebody who's never done anything good for me. What I will say is... The answer to the question of whether or not the Raven Queen has our best wishes is I cannot say, and I don't. I don't think she has ill will against us. I don't know if she has her own best interest, though. I think she has her interest. For example, she. We were when we were in the desert, and there were multiple ways that people wanted to destroy the world. People, some people want to bring the human out. Some people want the the devils to take over. She was fine with letting that happen. Because we're bringing people to her. But she wasn't going to force it. And in fact, I, I specifically asked her whether or not, if I tried to stop it, would she retaliate, retaliate against me? And she said, no, she would not. So I don't think, I think she cares about her wants, but is more of a neutral party. So I think we can trust her to that. It does sound like once we're there, if the Raven Queen kind of thinks that, you know, she owns us now or whatever, uh, it'll probably be a little hard to get back out. I don't think it'll be easy, no. You're okay. aware that you might have to defy your god, right? I do. Are you ready to do that? I already have before. To an extent. Not to this extent, but yes. Mm. She specifically told me <clears throat> to forge my own path. That she sees her and me. And she wants... And she wanted me to find my own path. She said this after Stibbles died. You don't find it concerning that a god sees her and you? I don't think she was originally a god. 
Okay. Which is turned into she, legs. Does that not make her a god now? She's a god. She has sure. connections to all of that. Yes. But I think... I, as I said, I don't trust her completely, but I trust what I know of her. I, I have directly defied her before, and she has not sm smited me out of existence. Fair enough. Twice now, actually. I trust what I know. I trust what she is willing to say. But I do not hold any any question that she has her own motivations. She absolutely does. And they might not align with ours, mine. But Want to say something? No. no, I don't. Not yet. Okay. I, don't, I, mean, I don't really believe in gods. Like I know they exist, mm -hmm. but I don't like pick one to believe in. So I will say I didn't. I'm, say I'm hardly an authority on telling you what to do when it comes to your own god. Well, I will say <coughs> I didn't necessarily choose this one. You better came to me. Fair enough. And so I'm just playing the hand I'm dealt. Points to your cards. Oh yeah, speaking of that, I'm gonna attack your uh, your your red eyed dragon there. With my hobgoblin knife. <laughs> 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 Twenty-one. I didn't even know that was a dragon. It says it uh, like oh, the names are in goblin. <laughs> I just like that one because it looks cool. So just go for it. Alright. It's very inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> you would know. <laughs> it's just like, it had one eye. <laughs> yes, the red eyed black dragon. Not red eyes. What my last thing will be on this is <laughs> if we are to get out of the Shadow Fell, out of the Fortress of Memory, it will be on her blessing. All right, so we got to convince a god to let us out, or I mean, more expressly, to... you got to convince a god to let us out. So <coughs> I have I have to trust that I'm able to do. That. We are able to do that. All right. Well, I appreciate you telling me before the dragons at our front door this time. Well, there's <laughs> a dragon. <laughs> no, I'm referencing the shit show that was yesterday. Ah. Because <laughs> that was literally yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have been needing to ask what fucking day it is. Oh my yeah. god. Can you please he's, tell us what day it is? I'm, I'm, I'm he's holding the date hostage. Right I'm not holding the day hostage. You told us that the day we have written down might not be the actual day that it is. So I you gotta figure it out, sir. Okay, I know, but that. he doesn't know. So we can ask Ellen and she'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I she just could. make the sun like, crazy. It's forever done. It's forever forever broken. We no one will ever know what day it is anymore. Okay, we we think it's day nine. We need to find someone with keen mind. Just so give day up. Ten, yeah, just yeah. give up. Just give up. Stop so keeping track. Could it technically be day twenty five? You guys want to know how many days you were in the underdark? Yes. Okay. Well, we also teleport. We don't know if that teleport costs Did us day or not. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't you guys think went so, through an area of the underdark when you guys went into that weird cave uh -huh. and traveled the amount of time that you traveled. Uh huh. But you lost your memory of it. So, it was the so exact we did same, travel. It was the travel. It was the exact same amount of time. Okay, so it's 12 but you guys, it, 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 it's missing in all of your memories. <laughs> okay, but still, it's 12 25. Okay. We've done it, guys. It's Christmas. You guys have Christmas? Phelan will literally have gone, like, in the middle of this conversation, <laughs> just like, like yesterday... Left, gone downstairs, asked the backseat, what, what day is it? <laughs> She's like... 
<laughs> it is. <laughs> Jacob's like, I don't know. And he's like, 1225. And he's just 12, like, 1225. <laughs> it's December 25th. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Merry <It's laughs> <It's> Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Philip left the party on 1023. Yeah. <laughs> two months ago. It's been, it was about two months then. It was a crazy two months, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And he's literally just going to stand there for a moment and just be like, we missed 10 days, you know, like seven days of travel. <laughs> he's just like, oh, I don't like that. And he's going to go back upstairs and awesome. then just pick up his cards and sit back down and just be like, it's 1225. Oh, okay. Like oh. in the afternoon? All right, Kurt. The, no. last, the, last, session that, <laughs> what the else? last session the last session that I wrote in my book was session 19 and I've just titled it, uh-oh, and I have no notes. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt, after the shanties, it's starting to sunset, kind of in the in the in the um, in the sky. And I got wait, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Hang Waiting. Oh, oh. Yeah, sunset. Mm. Uh, what are you doing? Um, Kurt is going to um, pull out their flag mm-hmm. and lay it on the ground mm-hmm. uh, and sort of approach the. Um, people who've lost limbs and are like sort of skin baked and just and start blessing them with with ceremony oh that's nice yeah they are grateful and they they sort of they're sort of like this deep resounding like i knew it i knew if i I stayed on this path if i if i stayed with umberly i'd I'd be blessed one day um and they look and and they sort of it's sort of this communal sort of sacrifice they see that you've lost your eye and they've lost something as well and you guys bond sort of over that and that umberly always seems to take something Yes. But not just not to take it, just to take it. Not to take it to show that you uh, have fealty towards her, but she takes it so that you understand where she stands and the sense of, like, the fear. Mm-hmm. The fact that she can take whatever she wants and there can't, there's nothing that can stop her. That unrelenting, malevolent force, that's what Umberly stands for. There could be a mountain-sized wave coming towards any city right now. Nobody could do anything. Mm-hmm. That's the type of power she has. Much more physical power than a lot of other gods have. And um, that's what kind of what you learn, I guess. <laughs> you you uh, go around, you bless these people, they're grateful. Um, and for the first time, it's like they, they're like weirdly happy. It's like uh, they haven't been happy in a long time, and now they Oops. are. Um, and eventually it starts getting later in the day. Uh, Kurt will... Um once they're done, yeah, it's probably been a fairly long day. <laughs> Storm's um, over. And as uh, they're uh, getting ready to go, um, Kurt will just turn to the, the blue finned woman and say, Sister, is there anything I can do for you now or on my journey? We wish to establish a temple in Kize, or at least establish connection with it. If you and your travels find it, we'd like to hear word of it. There is a temple in Kize? We don't know. We want to either start one or make connection with one that exists. We'd be a fool to not have one, though. They're a coastal city. Her waves crash on all shores. Her waves crash on all shores. They will crush on this one. And Kurt offers a hand. She takes it. You don't even, like, shake it. She just squeezes your hand. There's a test of strength towards one another. (laughs) Your hands are sort of sore afterwards. She smiles. Hey, why are you looking at that spell? (laughs) Wouldn't you like to know? uh, What's on your screen over there? (laughs) What what you got open over there? I saw nothing. (laughs) I want a guest title wave. Ceremony? No? Uh, Alright, cool. I'll be in the dark. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kurt, um... I'll let that happen and... and okay. Um, and goes. Alright. Late into the day, sort of like, as the sun is setting. Deep sort of orange, blues in the sky. Um, Kurt comes back. So does Philip. 
For like hours. I'm talking like it was like eight, <coughs> like six, seven hours later. <coughs> We're doing a three-way game now. Stitch, please no. let me stop playing. <laughs> I oh, close no, my I, eyes and I fine. see the illusion. <laughs> you could have stopped whenever. You, I get up yeah. and you you get upset. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I need to find people that Settle speak goblin. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just playing that. random cards. <laughs> That's why you only played monsters, is because you didn't know anyone the chap card said. What are you guys playing? You speak goblin? No. Damn it. It's, Kurt's right it's goblin I, monsters. I, oh, no, do you speak goblin, hey. Kurt? Uh, no, I do not. Damn it. I uh, know <laughs> Celestial, and I know I Halfling, you? and I know I Elvish. Know no, Lean Iron. I don't know Goblin. Wait, what language? Is that Stibbles Jr.? Goblin. Mmm. <laughs> don't know that one. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me, little guy. So, how was your guys' day? Me too. I actually can't read. We should teach the boy how to read. <laughs> I don't know if he yeah, likes books that much. Um, well, I met my son. Well, how did that go? Yeah. It's alright. Good. Do you like him? <laughs> yeah, I do like him actually. He's funny. He's pretty smart. And he is mine. You got the okay. Maori show and you are the father. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Who are you, Kurt? <clears throat> <sighs> you could say I went home for the first time. I went the to the sex thing, or no, uh, not the sex thing. Uh, although that's um, a surprise. Although that tabaxi downstairs, Oof. good mm. stuff. Um, no, I went to the I went to the to the the home of Umberly here and donated money, and sang shanties, huh? blessed people in their hate. Did you marry anyone Don't in their hate? Like you no, uh, but I <laughs> did bring peace <laughs> to those who had willingly or no sacrificed of their bodies to the great sea bitch. It was a fulfilling experience. That's actually fairly noble of you. <laughs> I we, don't uh, exactly know what I have ever done that would suggest I otherwise. <laughs> Before we get into that conversation, um, Lelia, I think, discovered some very important information for us for our uh, upcoming journey. I'll show what I have written in my journal on the question. Basically, TLDR, good luck. You need it. It looks like we're going to have to convince the Raven Queen to let us out once we get in. Well, well I don't even know if it's convince the Raven Queen rather than have the strength of your own soul. I just, um... I don't think Kurt's going to have any issues with that. <laughs> no, I don't I've, know. I've got soul enough to spare. I could probably take one, well, or, one or two of the other of you up on, on my see. soul's back. Well, the question is, it doesn't say strength of conviction. Strength of your soul. We don't know what the strength of our souls are. Necessarily, once you face it yourself. Just figure out, just thinking of a ghost, just with a lot of muscles. Um. <laughs> Strong muscles. He's just like. Catherine the buff ghost. Okay. <laughs> That's there. Because I think the only one of us, well, Kurt, you briefly, a couple of times, were only a soul. <laughs> uh, but how much do you remember of that? Oh. Not, a, not a whole lot, actually, it turns out. Yeah. almost died once. That was a long, long time ago, though. And so did I. I don't remember much about it, just waking back up. Twice, actually. Yeah. Close Am I going to die someday? It seems like everybody's done it. No, Trees live to be Trees a live really long time. long time. You will die one day. Wow. Hmm. But that's alright. It's one thing we all have in common. I think you have less to worry about well, being a tree. Yeah, it might be like thousands and thousands of years. One time when I was like, no, like how old you are? Come back. Like, is that gonna happen? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't die. Die. I that just doesn't died. normally happen. Yeah, oh. it's we're, not a common thing. Yeah, for yeah, we're normal. We're abnormal. The, this this group is very like, strange. 
Everybody else is like, That's I've true. died at least once. And Phelan's literally pulling this fucking died. fake quote of people die when they're killed. <laughs> <laughs> the party doesn't understand that. Um, I haven't died before. The clues I got was a dragon. I'll say <laughs> killed to death. I'll say being a spirit is a very different experience <laughs> than being in a mortal body. Um, I think no so. offense, Kurt, you are very strong in your own way right now. I wonder how much the magic that created you may have interacted with yourself, for instance. Because hmm. it could have, it, it could have strengthened it. You could be incredibly strong, or mm -hmm. it could be fractured. Right. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us will know until we get there. Yeah, we won't know until we get there, I guess, huh? No. Fantastic. Fun. My souls are tough. I mean, it's the route we're going to take. There's no avoiding it. Mm -hmm. We're enough, gonna have to get out eventually. So. I think if anyone's going to come back, it's going to be Kurt. Honestly, yes. Should be what, the third time. Lots of things That's are washed out to sea. Return on the shore. Why do you think that beat well, smooth? I mean, oh, you know, twice forever. Really like the rubber duckies. I have been called a prophet today. Wow. Oh, boy. I think you have a pretty good chance. I think your god would maybe at least pity you in the slightest. You think I could complain enough to convince her to let me go? I don't know that you'd... <laughs> I don't know that you ha would have the Please. ability to annoy her as a, as a soul. I could try. You certainly could. Just a little, little soul stitch. Just like, bung. <laughs> Stop I'm, that. It's not going to work. Bung. I'm actually you seem pretty more tenacious curious on too. what my reaction to this would be. In terms, because I can make an assumption of generally what you guys would be. I have a question. But I'm not in the same position as you guys. Mm -hmm. and, and perhaps a motivation. Mm -hmm. But mostly a question. You said that you came back from... I was brought back. Right. From the fortress? I never got to the fortress. Gotcha. But the, the response said that many people have left the fortress before. Many have been lost. Many have escaped. Many have escaped. Does everyone go to the fortress when they die? If they don't get stuck before, then... As far as I know, yes. Stuck? Where? I got stuck in the, uh, the ethereal plane before reaching there. The fuck? Well, sort of. I, I guess the planes are just kind of like a, like a, it, like an accordion, like. You know. Oh, when the you, planes you know got broken. No, know that the, makes. Sense. How long ago did, did did that happen to you? The planes, like an accordion. Eleven years. Eleven. And I was in. I was. That doesn't line up. Never mind. No, it does not. What? The the whole plane shit that happened. It messed with all my magic for a little while. That was. And uh, I thought maybe it was lined up like you you have to go between the planes to get to that plane, and maybe when all the planes got broken, like it stopped you from know. going completely. Uh, I'll say Lilia has a bit of an understanding, mm -hmm. and uh, just to. <coughs> Clarifying. For DM to uh, clarify and come in and uh, explain yep. some things uh, uh, through your character, yes. I would say Lily would understand. Um, the best way I could do it is like an analogy of like uh, the atmosphere and the earth. Mm -hmm. Let's use that. So you've got you've got all the layers of the atmosphere, and then you have the earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> we're all in space. Mm -hmm. That's where people exist are in space. When they die, they go through the different atmospheres and eventually get to the earth. The earth, the the um, the uh, uh, the ground level is the Fortress of Memories. You went into the stratosphere and then came back out. Yeah. That's basically what you did. There are different levels that you can sink into, that different mm -hmm. spells can bring you back from. Being beyond anything is like the core of the Earth. There's a long journey your soul mm -hmm. eventually makes before it gets there. And it's long. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows really what happens. Some have ideas, some speculate. Some, you know, there are some people who, who know that there are outer planes that people go to, but, I mean, nobody counts every soul. Not everybody can planeswalk. Mm -hmm. So, Lily is understanding. Maybe that's something that um, 
Lucius taught her. Yeah, was that. absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I imagine the fortress of memories is like hitting the ground. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. It's not impossible. Yeah, but it's difficult. But you, you never really get. You just went I, and you just kind yeah, of did that, That's why I said I, I don't think I reached the fortress kind of thing. I got stopped for that. Mm -hmm. I will try just generally no, explain that to the to the park. Okay. So I only ask because it might add another one to retrieve from the pile. Your brother. He's probably there. Be convenient. So now we have one, your friend, ourselves, and this Ashkari. There's like eight people we need to drag out of death, basically. If they're there, and if we're even able to. That's why ifs. We'll have to. I think this will be one of those things we'll have to see when we get there. It's going it's to be difficult enough to get there in the first place. Well, it seems like this group excels at improvising, so. <sighs> That's very true. So I guess we. D what do we do tomorrow? We just hang out? And I can teach everyone how to play goblin monsters. <laughs> Please, uh, no I'm going to go see Ronan again. Okay. Um, I could learn how to play after. Sure. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think Ronan speaks Goblin? No, I don't. Think no. Ronan okay. Goblin. That's. Fair. I don't know. He seemed like a pretty cool kid. He might. <laughs> he did. He did seem pretty cool. Got a lot of surprises up his sleeve. Yeah. As short as they were. You saw. It. <laughs> Didn't you see him for like ten seconds? Sometimes it's all you need. Oh. <laughs> Alternatively, I could just sleep all day. I, yeah. There's a lot to do in the town. <laughs> I think I need to come to terms with the fact that I am literally throwing myself into possible death. Right. So. <laughs> um, me, your mother mentioned somebody named Alma. Yeah, he's he's, the, he's one of my father's advisors. He's so magic. Yeah, tricky, I'm hoping right? I'm he's hoping to speak to him to after the meeting, like your like your oh, like the queen said. Speak to him sooner? might be possible. I, I mean, I guess I could try. Would you be able to get me an audience with him? You're kind of the prince, right? Yeah, but if I go up to the palace, that's where my dad is. Could we just know. say that you're giving us permission? Like your word? Does that work? Because sometimes it does. I mean, I haven't been here in about ten years. Yeah, so, um, I mean, uh, yeah, I was, but only about ten people know why I was banished. Well, about ten people know that I was banished. Everyone else thinks that I just went on uh, like, to, like a, uh, like a. Could you then just get in touch with all the all the person to like, like a private school? A <laughs> private? What's a? Is there something that okay. this all like is, your brother's like school? He, you know, uh, does he? Oh. Is there anything specific that he likes that I could maybe like? Offer like, be like I got this. Come to, come to us because. Do you want a, a joke answer or do you want a real answer? To both. Yeah. Joke answers are always joke funny. Joke answer. He likes redheads. Um, oh, okay. That's always been a joke. A real answer. I don't know. Coffee. I get some nice coffee. Bring it. Be like, I have a gift. I want to talk to all. <laughs> He'll be like, Who are you, Smoke Goblin? I'll say, I'm Prince Philip's friend. Right. Like, and see he, if it works. I like, could. Yeah, could I could. Come I, to I, us. Is that the joke? Um, do you, do you know Ash, you, you know of Ash Kari, right? Uh, he used to have a, a really big crush on her and she's a redhead and he never really got over it. And my, oh. my, my father would pester him about it all the time. He thought it was funny because Alma used to pester my father. Um, and then, um, yeah. There's a ghost laughing in the background right now. Piss off ghost. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why I joked that he likes redheads. So what you're saying okay. is I shouldn't let slip that we're trying to save Ashkari from um I under death <laughs> maybe do like maybe play I on those those I think heart if you tell him hey. Ashkari might be dead he might have a, a mental breakdown okay I won't say anything I was gonna ask if he knew things about Lycus and you know magic -y stuff uh, well magic after Lycus prisons? blew up the half of the, the castle yeah he he was tasked to try to find out where he was and uh where um, this like island was, but they never found it. Island um, what? 
I, I don't know, Lycus came, he came with the man, said that he was from an, an island. He found an island. What? Why well, is already feels like, yeah. So, Kurt's we home, did perhaps? find an island. Uh, if that's the island that we're, he was looking for. Then it was I, hidden. It just, we need things against Lycus, because... Um, Alright, so yeah, we try to get a Your dad's not Lycus' son, is he? Because when Lycus came, he came with an elven man and said it was his son. Uh, that would be a new wrinkle I am hitherto for unaware of. Well, he could have lied. Or you could be like his granddaughter or something. Grandchild. Child. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Eugene, say almost yeah. the same thing. It's all right. I don't know. Uh, uh, Dad wasn't exactly revealing of his uh, 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 secrets or affection. Um, Do you know the name of this person I came with? No. All my might. I wasn't in Lee and I at the time. Mm. All right, down so now. we but try to get a meeting tomorrow, and if we can't, we just do it after the meeting with the king. Yeah, he just might have things to help us against Lycus, or ideas about it. I just want to talk to him about the floating city, I'm going to oh. be honest. <laughs> he could, so, he could know. You, you can ask the important questions, I'll ask the stupid ones. He could know about <laughs> Lycus, but Lycus has always been kind of like a... <laughs> I don't know. White ra rabbit? Never really where he could catch him. Mm. That's Stipples Jr. just knocking on the door. <laughs> no, there's a door. There's a door. There's a um, <laughs> a robed individual with a, a, a elven man about five feet tall, five and a half feet tall, um, sort of uh, olive hue skin, uh, looks over towards you with a crate of uh, stuff. Um, it's sort of locked on the top. He's got like red robes and he says, Oh, Mr. Philip? I'll take that. Thank you. Mr. Um. Good day. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Do you know who that was? Why was that so weird? He got like. I, I, I. Starstruck? Hope not. Um. I had to pull money out of the bank this, this morning. You're That's like, why I didn't order anything. Like bottles hitting one another as he puts it down. So I just. Fine. Put in an order later for things that I needed. Fine. What'd you get? Well, I got my armor enchanted. I oh, got nice. my sword enchanted. Nice, nice. I, um, I got a uh, a portable hole. I almost got one of those too, and but I already have this. I pulled my bag of holding. Potions. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we right, we got it. We um, got a backup plan if we need it. No. <laughs> we have to. my tent. Yo, we can't leave the fortress of memory. The fortress of memory. Oh, I just thought of that. <laughs> I mean, you sit there now we got to the plane. astral plane. I, get out I mean, we'll figure it out. It's better than being in the fortress of fucking memories. <laughs> I don't know about that. The don't astral plane's actually. We, we go to the astral plane and we just spawn in front of an astral dreadnought, and it's like, all right, campaign over. <laughs> <laughs> this party might be able to take on a dread. No, no, it could. Never mind. It definitely could not take on an astral dreadnought. Can't even take on. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dragon that we fought the other day. Astro Dreadnought would kick our shit in. <laughs> What'd you give Philip? My tent back. Tent. <laughs> I gave Philip tent. In, in, in the corner, <laughs> there's just, right it's now. like you a... Uh, his tent the whole time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like animal, animal Crossing, the little icon of the it tent. It was heavy! <laughs> you know, oh Kurt hands over the tent. Kurt or uh, Philip Don't worry, Philip, I always remembered you. <laughs> <laughs> It's After Phelan had the everything else. Yeah. See how much Kurt loves you, Philip? Right, yes. Mm -hmm. Just the tent. Just the tent. Yeah. It was I appreciate intense. it. All right. N intense <laughs> moment. Right. Well, I got nothing to do for a day and a half. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I've got something. I mean, I could go, I could ask Kia if she could get into contact I mean, with sure. Alma. Either way, I'm, She'd I'm, have a better okay, chance I'm than I'm just going to bother them this. until I can. I'm going to intercut in here. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into a small amount of downtime before you guys have your meeting with Eugene. Um, is that all right? Yeah. All right. So um, is there any downtime that anybody wants to do? Uh, for the most part of a day, so I'm going to have some limitations on what you can do, but um, I know there was possibly some investigating you wanted to do, Phelan. Think in God, I always so have I, a I lot apologize. of investigating to do. No, it's all right. Um, <laughs> let me let me narrow it down really really quick. I think it was kind of related to Zelma, but we can find out more. Do do do. 
Uh, yeah, just in general stuff about Lycus and slash potential magic prisons. Oh, because you know, for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you know that it's more about deterrence against like I don't know how to like explain it properly in my head because I was <laughs> was okay. not prepared. Sorry. Right. Um. How do you find a usually unfindable magic prison? Because that's where we okay. theoretically think Lycus has either Ashkari, if she's not in the Fortress of Memories, and or Vincent, mm. who is in potentially gay baby jail. <laughs> we just don't know. He is and in gay baby jail. <laughs> All right. So where is gay baby jail, and can it be right. possible so, to So uh, I will possibly let you answer that question. Oh, no. Uh, it's possible to do that, Leonia. However, I'm going to make it Thank you. Thank you. We know some things about gay baby jails. <laughs> They've used <laughs> gay baby jail. Some about gay baby jail, actually. Some rumors and uh, <laughs> mystical knowledge. Gay baby jail mancers. <laughs> So much, I love it. Uh, all right. Gay baby jail? Question mark. Investigate. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. Downtime. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Research. That's what's called. Not investigating. All right. So, um, you can spend fifty. You have to spend fifty gold pieces. Oh no. And, gold. And uh, every fifty gold pieces you spend is a plus one. Okay. Oop, that's the wrong app. Bringing up the 1,000 gold. <laughs> you could. I, mean, I, I you could. I really wanted to. I need these answers. I don't need sleep. I need answers. <laughs> oh, I really could. The beauty of plus 20. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Wait, so 500 would be, would be plus 10? Plus 10. Why not? All Fuck right. Five hundred dollars. I need answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and roll with a plus ten, and, and this is an investigation check. Cause you never know. My rolls are either poor or mm-hmm. decent. Mm-hmm. T- uh, they're decent this time. Thank you. Okay. Um, that would be a uh, <laughs> twenty-nine. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, <clears throat> so uh, you you can learn three pieces of lore. Okay. Um, that's what your check gets you. So um, I will go ahead because I, I have the idea of what you want to learn. Mm-hmm. Um, I think your main one is like you want to know more about like how uh, the connections there. Mm-hmm. Um, let's be more specific. We do the, I do this all the time with you. You're the only one who researches. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. You can ask three questions. Okay. They can be as specific as you want them to be, and I'll answer. I answer them as truthfully as I can. Okay. Is there a way to detect a magical prison? Yes. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> How? Okay. How get? <laughs> so, um, uh, a magical prison, typically something like an extra-dimensional plane, is what, uh, after all of the research that Phelan does, he, he narrows it down to being an extra-dimensional plane. Extra-dimensional planes are difficult to find because they don't exist in the main plane, they exist outside of them. Um, especially because, and you read some history texts, especially because of the, um, the, the, the Sunder thing, and not the Sundering, that's the thing I have in the Forgotten Realms, the mm-hmm. Zerialness. Yeah. Um, uh, it's difficult to find those planes. Mm-hmm. Um, typically, the person who casted it has an easy time finding it. Uh, but if you know the name of the plane, or um, you know... Uh, yeah, I, I would say if, if you understand its location on the, on the wheel, or if you know um, uh, of the name of the plane, you could cast Planar Gate and just go to it. Okay. Stand. But unfortunately, its name is not Gay Baby Jim. <laughs> oh. Damn. Gay Baby Prison. Oh! Whoa. You got it! <laughs> I mean, he can't even cast Planar Gate, but he can find somebody eventually. Do you know this spell? It's not Gay Baby Jim, it's Straight Elder Prison. <laughs> No, it has to be opposite of jail, mm-hmm. so... Haven. Street, street Elder Haven? <laughs> so... I don't want to go there. No. So... Neither did Vincent. 
Yeah. Well, a retirement village, not not yeah. not a home. It's yeah. one of those villages yeah, yeah, yeah. that like aren't in like like Florida. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, just Florida. It's just Florida. Okay, so we're, we've number three. Um. Oh boy. What is your favorite color? <laughs> What's my favorite color? <gasps> Well, um, is there a way to like break one? Oh, Ooh, that's a good question. Mm. <laughs> Last night I, I was really up for hours, like, like yes. we're gonna get there, then we're not gonna be able to get out. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't use magic to get out. It'd be super mean to be like, yes, you don't know how. No. <laughs> um, okay. The things that keep me up at night. Break them. Just get the answer. Try again later. Wow. Yes. <laughs> to destroy an extra dimensional plane. The, the smaller it is, the easier it is, I'll say. The bigger they are, the m much more difficult. And typically it just means you need more mages or more wizards. Okay. Something along the way. Nothing Wait. short of a witch spell could do so. Ooh, <laughs> they're very difficult to destroy. Okay. I feel like I spelled extra dimension. A wish? Wish. Yeah, like level nine. Oh. Why? What are you doing over there? Yeah, what are you doing? What's that face? Why are you sipping that bubbly? <laughs> Not sponsored. Mm, just thinking about wish spells. <laughs> okay, well, that's the end of my three. Yay. Good job. Uh, what does anybody else want to do? Uh, I'm going to do something crazy. <gasps> oh my god. Get an ice cream past eight o'clock. activity of relaxation. You? Oh, yeah, okay. Good job. All right, uh, I got you one. Heal your lip. <laughs> I got one. You know who could heal I saw one. plenty of gold, right? Oh, so, a day of gambling sounds really fun. Oh, boy. Even though I'm pretty bad sure at it. Sure does. All right. <laughs> He's so. going to go play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah! We're going to go to the pre-release of the new set. Go oh, can I find some goblin kids? Can I just leave it just goes I'll get the, I'll get the, I'll, just, like, I'll go, I'll go yeah. find the That's common translation <laughs> and go to, like, a game <laughs> shop and, like... They have good food there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you go and you participate in a Goblin Monsters <laughs> tournament. Like With the common th translation. I'm no. watching the eSports game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> go ahead and make a, uh, let's see here. Let's I'm see. bad at all of the checks you gotta make for gambling. No. Uh, <laughs> but when? Hang on. That's what, that's what Kurt was gifted by the Kraken. Uh -oh. oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you just showed. You just. I'm showed, excited. Huh? You just showed. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't want to know. Oh, I, I bet wanna, I know what it is. I just want to yeah. be there when it happens. I hope so, bet I know what it is now. I don't like being next to Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I learned some forbidden. Lore. No, I don't like it. <laughs> All right, make an insight check. Ooh. No. Oh. Seventeen. Oh, the only person I gave the coin to today was Grace. Uh, but we all have a coin. <laughs> <It's eight>. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, I beat that. Um, oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. How much, how much are you putting into this? Uh, how much can I put into this? Oh, oh 1,000 gold is your max. <sighs> yep. You do 1,000? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> all right. Kurt, uh, goblin monsters? Okay. I roll uh, big. <laughs> you deception <laughs> check. I'm going to get that black one. I will use my, my coin that you I don't have. <laughs> All right, not, not as bad as it was. Ten. Oh! Actually, that's a failure. Oh. DC was 18. Okay. And finally, an intimidation 18. check. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not great. Uh, intimidation, you said? <laughs> uh, 12. Oh. Uh, the DC 13? Is he gonna get 17. 17? Speed okay. Beat up in an alley? <laughs> um, By some goblin all kids? All cards taken. <laughs> oh, shit. Here's some buff. Yes, cards taken. <laughs> <laughs> Dust starts a side quest to get his Ooh, cards full. back. Okay. So, <laughs> you get one success. Unfortunately, you lose half the money you bet. Okay. So, you, you lose 500 gold, but oh, you no. get 500 back. So, um, not that great. But a little bit of a complication has happened. Oh, no. 
That's a good thing. Hey, yeah, one day, a high stakes gambler yeah, has come into town and notices your rich pockets. Oh boy! Another goblin <gasps> with about four decks, and he looks down and he comes in swarmed by other goblins. He says, "Huh? You think you can start winning goblin monsters? It'd be me, you, little goblin." Yeah. 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 Why? Ten thousand on the table, oh. and you better pay. You better play, otherwise. My boys will be paying you a visit. When he's saying 10,000 on the table, is he saying 10,000 each? Or is he saying 10,000 as a total? It's 20,000 gold pot. Okay, I don't have 10,000, so... You don't have 10,000? No, I spent a lot of my gold. Yeah. How much do you have? No, I got it. I got I got, I got, it. I got it. I got it. I go, well, <clears throat> you'll have to... I put 5,000 down. I put my alchemy jug down. I go, this thing... Infinite beer. Yeah, roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, infinite mayonnaise. Yeah. All the mayonnaise you could ever want. You want honey? We can give you honey. Can I be standing behind? They all go, ooh. ooh. <laughs> can I be like, standing behind? And, and I even show it and, like, to him. I go, try to be like, intimidating. I go, grab some mugs. And I grab a, we grab a bunch of mugs and I say beer. And I Maybe flip it and I pour them all a beer. Okay, I'm trying right, to, they're I'm, sold, they're sold, they're sold. I'm they, trying they to get, all the beer. I'm, try, I'm trying to get him drunk. Oh, he's to get drunk. He sips it, but he doesn't drink it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Beer. <laughs> <laughs> I should drink an inordinate amount of this. <laughs> oh, oh, Beer, I can't help myself. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, Colt was trying so, to get all his money again. back. Insight right. check. The full, the full okay. set, huh? Mm-hmm. All I'm right. Not, I'm gonna be like trying to be like throwing him off his Insight game. Insight. Fourteen. Intimidating around this guy. I'll get you. I'll get you. Uh, what? Fourteen. Fourteen? Aren't you relaxing? I said I went with Stitch, so this is <laughs> yeah. my relaxing. It's being, <laughs> it's being a menace to random asshole goblins. Oh, DC 11. You win hey, the insight hey. check. What's the next one? Tell what kind of cards they're going to play. Deception. Uh, Twelve. Oh, nineteen. Okay. And, um, finally, roll an intimidation check. Yeah. Uh, thirteen. Okay, you have advantage. I have advantage. Oh, that's a 19 on the dice. 21. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you got two successes, and the, the goblin like throws his cards down in anger, and he's like, oh, It's a rigged deck! And he's like, and his buddies are trying to hold him back, as he, you very clearly <laughs> fairly won. Um, and uh, you gain the amount you bet, plus half again more. You get 5,000 gold pieces. Oh you got it back. <laughs> uh, you head back. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, I'll, uh, I'll buy a Richard. bunch of common translated booster boxes. <laughs> the translated one, one for each member of the party. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Yeah. How and much I is that? Really like, t- please like stop gold. trying to get me into magic the gathering. You in <laughs> game and out of game, <laughs> guys. I'll, I'll drop. I'll drop a hundred gold on boxes and packs yeah, yeah, for, yeah. The, yeah. for the party. My coworker, I told him like you had made like, it, because, you know, and he's like, yeah. He's like, no. Just carrying all the gold goes in my bag of holding. I'm just yeah. carrying this stack of cards. Amazing. There's a surprising amount of people all right. at Target. Like, give you one. Play magic the gathering. And then we we go in. I give you a deck. Are these are are these like themed decks? <laughs> figure it out if you want it to be. I want it to be the next <laughs> the, 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 the. Ghosts. Wolves. Whoa. <laughs> Jordan earlier made everybody wolves. in the party is made. That's it. Cards, so it wolves. wolves. Just that. Just wolves. All types of wolves. The, be- the best oh. part is 100% if I had lost. Uh, wait. Yeah. If I, if I had lost, I would have just... Once we got out of Lee and I, I would have just taken the... The, <laughs> the fusion off of the alchemist jug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, um, I could um, Kia get us in a day early to meet Alma. Um, to meet Alma? I just spent my day playing Goblin Monsters. It's a late night meeting, maybe. <laughs> he's addicted to coffee. He's you can, probably you can a talk to Alma after you talk to Alma, Eugene. Lame. Okay. He's gated. Um. <laughs> oh. uh, all right, uh, Kurt. Is there anything you want to do? He's uh, gated. Uh, Kurt's gonna either throw the biggest party that they can manage, mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. attach themselves to some form of. This is religious services, right? The downtown <laughs> religious service. Um, maybe they'll maybe they'll what they'll do is they'll spend their day spreading word around Leonia okay. that everyone should go to the. <laughs> to the, the Umberly Church. All right, and and then you throw a big party. 
Yes. Cool. Like um, a benefit concert. Big party, big concert, lots of uh, lots of drinks, lots of uh, uh, people, lots of lights. Uh, very nice. Um, this, there is a thing for religious service downtime. I, I'm just curious. You get little bonuses. So since you're doing that thing throughout the day, go ahead and make it an intelligence religion check. Intelligence religion check. Um, can I, instead of intelligence religion, can I do a performance because I'm trying to get people out to a show as opposed to, like, inviting them to a sermon? So there is a persuasion check that you'll make after this. Okay. Do you have a do you have proficiency in both persuasion and performance? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, this is one of the few times I'm going to say fucking no. Uh, okay. Where the 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 persuasion check you will get that ability. You'll have the the um and the you add the two together to get your total check. Okay. Um and then uh, oh it's or sorry you can make a religion check or a persuasion check. Oh you can fucking pick. All right, I'll, I'll do persuasion. All right, then. go for it. Um, and I will flip one of my coins um, to get advantage. To get advantage. Wow, what? they well, rolled the same thing. Um, <sighs> Thirty. Um, seventeen. Seventeen. That's pretty good. Um, you uh, you do get an effect, um, and within religious service, the the ability that you get is um, is you earn one favor. Hmm. Uh, in a favor, in broad terms, is a promise of future <coughs> assistance from a representative of the temple. It can be expected to ask the temple for help in dealing with a specific problem, for general political or social support, or to reduce the cost of cleric spell casting by fifty percent. Um, so, if you wanted a cleric spell casted, they could do it for half the price. A favor could also be taken in the form of a deity's intervention, such as an omen, a vision, or a minor miracle provided at a key moment. This latter sort of favor is expended by the DM, who also determines its nature. Favors earned need not be expended immediately. Only a certain number can be stored up. You can have a maximum number of unused favors equal to one plus your charisma modifier. I think I think Kurt definitely would would love a, a vision. <laughs> Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know something that you sent me that you wanted to do was uh, to perform a freaking Umberly miracle. So I almost yeah. imagine like you are you're performing this sermon for Umberly, and some people are listening. And there's this guy who comes over, and he like um, he uh, uh, he lost like his brother in like a storm one time, um, and that's why he hates the sea. And mm. you summon forth magic from like nearby water and the ocean, and like call up upon a storm, and like commune with like his dead brother and he's able to like say goodbye to him like one last time and he sort of like tearfully like thanks you and he says oh all right i'll i'll i'll, I'll speak to I'll, I'll come there I'll, I'll speak to them maybe maybe i've had it wrong the whole time and a bunch of people are amazed and they watch as you did this in the middle of the streets and they sort of like applaud you and um you recruit a good amount of people which in turn uh g grants you this favor um that uh, uh uh can be given to you and in which you want an omen what are you, what are you, what are you face palming over there for? I just realized we have <laughs> angry, chaotic, horny sea sea Jesus. <gasps> You're sea Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> sea Jesus. Sea Jesus. You have died and come back. Uh, that's <laughs> what I thought too. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's see your Christ do walk, that. <laughs> walk on water. Thank I, you. I, I have water. water walking. I do have the ritual. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> All right. So you um, you, you want an omen? A vision of yeah. some sort? What What is it? <clears throat> oh, I get to describe it. Well, it depends. If, if it's something you want to learn, then I can tell you. Um, like, kind of what Lelia did, but maybe on a smaller level. Or like what Phelan did, where like Phelan, uh, Grace asked me a question, I can give you an answer to it. Or you could just describe what the fuck happens. Uh, yeah, I think I would, Kurt would like, um, perhaps some, um, um, Kurt will, Kurt will inquire about, uh, Kize. Is there a, is there a church there? Mm. If if not, is there a reason why? Okay, perfect. 
you gather this vision within the ocean. You look out beyond uh, uh, Leonia, the wind sort of blowing in your hair. As uh, you look out towards the endless sea, the re- sun sort of reflecting um, in the ocean, going on forever and ever. And you close your eyes and you see this vision. And you see the island of Kize. It's obsidian um, uh, island. All the buildings, the airships floating around, the different districts. The grove on one side of the city. And you see a small temple. Not as big as the one in Leonia, but small. Dedicated to her. Not very many followers, but it's there. And you feel this emotion, this sense that it quells her for now. Kurt is going to... um, Is this happening, like, during the party? Uh, sure. Kurt, uh, um... Kurt will find that blue-haired elf. Yeah. Sister, I bring good news. She grabs your hand. She squeezes it. And Kurt goes, boom! There is a temple. I will find it, and I will make it great. There's like a wave of water that splashes upon the two of you that seems to come from nowhere. And she looks upward and she says, Good. Good. She's sort of like lost in her thoughts for a moment. Yeah, she is a sea elf. Mm, fun. It's uh, this is where Pacifica ended up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, is there any other downtime anybody wants to do? I sent you what I did. I already did mine. I won five thousand gold playing. That's so cute. Monster. I wish I could tell everybody that. We can. Spencer told me. Uh, <coughs> okay, the other one is different. Um, <laughs> Philip takes Ronan and Kia to the oasis, and they have a little lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then They're in the lunches. distance, you just hear Kurt's Kurt's party. <laughs> little fireworks going on. <laughs> what's, the, what's Tibbles Jr. up to? You find Tibbles Jr. in the oasis. He's just being a tree. Yeah. And he's like, oh, hey, Stitch, what's up? Good job. Yeah, I'll do. I love this. It's so nice. I can get my roots so deep. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back. Do it, buddy. He just becomes like a tree. <laughs> get those roots. I think we're done. All right. Uh, so we're gonna <laughs> move on to the third day in the morning. Day three. You guys have. I'm allowed to do more down time. <laughs> Dawn of the third day. Yeah. Let's go meet Dad. Well, this is going to be interesting. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Bye, Dad. <laughs> so you're going to die. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, he's blind. He can't see himself. It's cloudy. We're it's going into his territory. I'm yeah, aware. <laughs> you're not going to be able to see. Yeah. I got dark vision. I will be able to see. Just put the drift globe, you know, blind You guys it. make your way <laughs> That's a great towards the cast. Terrible idea. idea. It's an overcast day. Slight amount of rain. So your mom can help the weather, right? Yeah. Is this like mood mm. weather? Things have to grow. Oh, thank God. Okay, it's not Just make like... your way up the steps. You know. Kia Moody finds weather. you. And she leads you in. <coughs> you head up into the very large doors. They're maybe about 20 feet tall. Two guards, masks, um, flank each door. Cannot see their faces. You sort of turn and um, watch as you enter silently. Oh. And as you step in, it is pure dark. You are led by um, uh, uh, Kia, who um, kind of, with her voice, sort of leads you one way as the door sort of shuts behind you and becomes pure dark on the inside. I the rest of you can that. see, Phelan, you're having a rough time. Just take put my hand on Phelan's back. This room echoes. Hey, Every push? footstep sort of um, uh, bounces off all the walls. And it's pure darkness, Phelan. You see two pinpricks of orange at the back of the room. Mm. The back of this room in multi-layered sort of uh, uh, um, steps is a dais and a throne. Ears are out till fairy puffed. <laughs> you guys see a half-elf. Gray skin. Burning orange eyes. Sort of short and cut black hair. It's very well kept. Long black robes. 
you can notice that wrinkles have taken to his face and to his hands especially which strangely as you notice them sort of look a bit decrepit as he pulls the gloves over them he sits at the back of the room guards flanking around the entire place and he says I see better in the dark I don't I think dark's fine dark is personally fine for me you yes. must be Gene yes, Senior. Yes, I'm the only one who can't see. Might be worth oh. calling a king by his full name, Kurt. Doesn't somebody ask you, Stitch? <laughs> Are you a, a prophet of the no, sea bitch? No, but I know what it... Oh my fucking God. Go back to your card games. I'm going to go up and kneel in front of him. I'm going to fall. He stands up. He walks down over you. towards him. Okay. He sees feet. As he stands below you, before you. He says, Under other circumstances, this would be different. But I think formalities can be made out of a way. I'm sure my wife has told you that I am unwell. You know like us. You've met him before. So have I. I'd like to know everything you know about him. You guys have fun with this one. <clears throat> you can stand. Well, he and his wizard friends they, uh, their main goal is to ascend to godhood. Uh, I think they tried once. Uh, something to do with the Raven Queen. Correct? They may have... I'm not certain, but they may have created her in the first place. Yes. Uh, Lycus, uh, most of his friends, um either fell by the wayside, were banished across galaxies into the uh, planes of existence, or, uh, or betrayed him. Uh, he seems to be the only one left. Uh, my father was one of his lieutenants. Ravali Elisar, your father. Uh, that, is, that was him. Where yes. is he now? Uh, Some kind of prison. You didn't kill him? We did. did. He had... Contingencies. Do they all have contingencies? How no. do you know that Cytmerius is truly dead? How do you know about him? I've done my research. He's dead. I killed him in the hells. Good. Do you know anything about the others? Some of them are... There was a... Uh, Oh, what was that Nas fella in the uh, in the Underdark? No, not Underdark. No. Uh, Shadow Shadowfell. Fell. Shadow fell. That other place. The, nag the Nagpa? The, the uh, strange looking guy. The Nagpa. Yeah, that one. Uh, we know where he's at. He's stuck. He he's does, just... He wants to help us. Or, um, he doesn't doesn't want to be a part of them. Where is he? Uh, somewhere in the Shadowfell. It... Shadowfells often have entrances. Where was it? You want to kill him, don't you? No, I want to talk to him. What would you do if you don't get the answers you want? Are you trying to protect him? No. He just... Yes, he wants to help. He wanted to help us. He's the one who told us about this in the first place. He seems to have a lot of information. Why he'd withhold it from me it shouldn't be any different than why he gave it to you. I'm trying to find my notes, too. <laughs> yeah, <there laughs> I is. don't even know where he is. What about the others? Uh, hmm. I need to start, like, making, like, a table of contents. <laughs> Wait. Uh, there's... There's one who's a bone claw. 
one oh, who's in yeah. Layer of the Abyss, one who's in Nessus. They're scattered. Nessus. Um, I think one actually That's just... The nine Hells. That'd be some areas. When I went to the Abyss? I know, Eurowind went to the Abyss at one point. That's where he became like us. Um... I'm pretty sure one of them just, like, actually went into a void. I didn't write that one down, though. Cecil. Thank you. I have that one saying Cecil was sent here to Nessus, though. Cecil was sent far beyond anything. Got it. Thank the you. lowest layer of the Abyss. The Abyss is endless, and yet it still has its limits. The Pale Knight. What do you know of the Pale Knight? Um, um, your daughter? That's the name of his ship. Yeah. I mean, not what I'm asking. Uh, Pale Knight. The Pale Knight is the creator of demons, or so legend and myth would have it seen. Ooh. Pale Knight is mm, some sort of god, a powerful being. She's cursed my family. We have a relationship. Your family seems to get in the way of a lot of powerful beings. Pale Knight? Not by Rost. choice. Are you saying that Cecil is this Pale Knight? Or? No. Cecil serves a Pale Knight. Cecil naming six hand, six fingered. Or at least six. Are we making any connections yet? Cecil is grotzed. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm aware of the influence that he has over my children. Hello? Yes. Now would be the time to explain anything that you've learned about Grotz. He doesn't talk to me much. What do you want to know? Anything. I don't do you know where he is? He's in his layer of the abyss. He has a layer of the abyss. Yeah. It's a good start. Despises most of the other demon lords. He's is better than all of them. He's using us to have fun on the material plane because his connections were severed. At least I think they were. Mm. Doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Things are coming out of the astral sea. Like you guys said. It's mind flayers. Nothing's told me the Keeper is dead. I didn't think that was possible. Uh, potentially. How many so, friend of ours saw them get stabbed? So, but my theory is, and, 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 and the Queen agreed, uh, is that if the Keeper of the Universe is dead, the Universe should cease to exist. So there must be a timeline in which we save her. Alright. Which is, I think... How, how many pieces of the heart are there? This is Jacob. Eugene went down. <laughs> no, I haven't written down. <laughs> You're like, how many people were in that party? <laughs> like Control eight. F. How many, how many were still alive by the end? That's too? five. I the aorta, the apex, the valve, grasp, and the root. I think one of them was destroyed. <laughs> What? And um, was it Kize? Where were, where were we? Not Kize. No, we didn't. You weren't. You didn't come with us to Kize. The town, the, the one controlled by the vampires. Pryber. Pryber. The thing the woman had around her neck. I think that was, that was a piece. I think it was a piece. It was destroyed really easily, though. I feel like these are I don't know. relics. 
Can't they be destroyed so easily? It's on the... It looked so familiar, like it was on the tip of my tongue. Mm. Sitting in jail for months made me think of what it could be. No, it can't be destroyed that easily. Could be a fake. Replica? Copy? Uh, I don't know. It yeah, might. It might they be say possible. That was trying to create them. They mentioned this. It might be possible to take the pieces and extrapolate the magic from it and oh. put it into like. This is all speculation. We yeah. Don't know any of this. No. The only way we'll truly know is if I can. What we do know is that Lycus and his group were trying to create the same type of power originally to create the same type of power that the Horde had. I know. So it would not be surprising if they. When he first came and found me, he was trying to find it. Mm -hmm. He was creating a replica of it. He failed. I don't think he intends to fail again. No. The only way I can find out is if I find my other friends. See if they're still alive. I guess also seems to be able to travel between the planes very easily. He found us in the middle of planar travel. And he already has one. Which one's that? I don't know. <coughs> I don't know remember. One of us decided it would be a great idea to wipe our memories before we even knew where they were. We couldn't just keep them safely somewhere else. We had to hide them. Mm -hmm. Well... With great ideas. It... Thank you for your information. Yeah, and it kind of, it kind of goes back to that initial thought of if uh, Ashkari knows everything, then our current goal is to find her. So yes, Elden has done that for you. And you should do this. So we are going to the Fortress of Memories. I think it's the only option we have. I, Eugene Bastion, the King of Leonia, am trusting you on a mission as a part of my city and my people and the rest of this world. We saved it once. I don't want to lose it again. I understand that my life is tied to this heart. This thing. I never wanted it in the first place. I just wanted to be here. It's a gift that we know it's being used. I don't care if I die. You need to find it. Otherwise, this isn't going to last very long. Understand. You need to find your sister. We think she know we we think we know where she is. Good. I think where do you think she is? Kize. All or roads lead there. When you're done at the memory. Fortress of Memories, make your way to Kize. Find this heart, find Lycus, kill him if you can. If you can't, return back to me. Tell me what you found. Find Lamarcia. Make her tell us where Grotzt is. I already told you where Grotzt is. It's not very easy to get to him. She found a way. I don't think you've made any progress, have you? Obviously not. Then we need her. Are you sure that's a good idea? It's all we have. Uh, your wife said that she would do anything to get in your way. The Marcia? Does Phelan know that her gun's called Regicide? Probably. Mm. <laughs> I know. I... F if she finds out that we're getting to her to get to help you, she might do everything she can to keep anything from us. She likes you more than me. Maybe you should use that. We'll figure something out. Regardless, that's four steps down the line. Right. First step yes. is to get to the fortress and find Ashkari. Maybe she'll be able to help us. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe she'll be able to help us. Do you know anything about the Fortress of Memories to help? You the seem fortress to of know memories. a lot of things. No, I don't. I've done my research into what I can, but our knowledge here is only so limited. Beyond those sort of planes, it's difficult to get any information. We don't know much about the Shadowfell, nor have I needed a reason to learn more about it.
you have any questions? I'm sure the questions I would have wouldn't be the most respectful things to say. You must keep them to yourselves. Walks over to Philip. He looks at you. The past is in the past. We have a duty. I for our people. I understand that. That's why I'm here. Whatever you decide to do in between now and then is your choice. I am holding you to this. I understand that. Good. This audience is adjourned. You may leave. He turns, and he doesn't head up back to the throne. He sort of heads in the back, and he walks sort of towards the back and begins to leave. Almost probably in the library. I can show you too. Yeah, that'd be a good place to maybe find some info too. Is it all dark in the library too? Depends on the day. Why? I've Depends on if my father's going to be in there or not. Why? Well, I mean... Yeah, he, read books in complete let's go. darkness. That's a fun we'll, we'll figure it out. I got a torch. He's already, like, sitting out the drift globe, just like, tell me when I can <laughs> light it. <laughs> you guys make your way towards the back through the castle. These long, enormous halls, tall ceilings, most of them vaulted. You pass by paintings, certain architecture. Beautiful place. Impeccably clean. As you turn down certain hallways, quiet, only your footsteps echo through, the, uh, through everywhere. You're led into a room that is lit with the sun. And you see what looks like a um, young half-elf. Well, not young. He's a bit older now. Um, <laughs> older half-elf, um, sort of wavy, Weird. sort of brown hair. Um, he's in sort of long um, day robes that are like br uh, white and red. Um, and he's kind of tied together. And he is uh, currently, um, like, he's, he's up on top of, like, a ladder. And he's, like, pushing books on the inside. And he looks down and he just says, I'll be with you in a... Ooh, ooh. Philip, Phil. Hi, Phil. Phil. He slides Phil. down and he walks over and he Phil. like he gets close and he he like awkwardly sort of stops. And he looks around. And he's just like, "You're fine." What are, what are you doing here? I'm kind of on like a mission. He hugs you. Yep. Oh, it's wow. Ah, oh, sorry. I just no, you're fine. wow. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has. Uh, these people have some questions for you. Hey. Hi. My name's Phelan. Hi, Phelan. I'm Stitch. Uh, yep. Hi, Stitch. Uh, Kurt. Oh, Kurt my gods. What the hell are you? Uh, That's a good question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a whole lot of puss. Wow. Fascinating. And you are. Really. Oh, my friends. What are you doing? You just show up with all your friends? Like, you, you never left? Yep. I've been getting your letters. Yeah. You're asking me a lot of questions. Yeah. You've been giving very few answers. I've been busy, and yeah. he doesn't really let me um, right. talk to you a whole lot. Yeah. Um, we moved the island. Yeah, how do you do that exactly? Oh. Oh, it's very complicated. Extremely complicated. I pulled out a notepad. Should have asked right. my questions first. He Long plays uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Before the <laughs> city, when the city Gobble was now. on the ground, it was hollowed out by a bunch of ancient elves. And throughout oh. this war that was going on between their different gods, the um, followers of one side decided to bring their island up into the air to allow it to float. And, um, well, we don't actually know how it works. It uh, seems to be some... Uh, um, how do you power it, then? Oh, it's not powered. It's it's a... it's it, I um, This is <coughs> the way we explain it. I'm sorry if it sounds weird. A god is holding it up. So it's, it's a fucking a, god. It's not a god's <laughs> blessing right, that what, has allowed okay. the island to float. All right, what you about? What? I got. I got. A, I got a different. We one. Not simply <laughs> the, the gods didn't make the barrier, did they? No, no, we made that. Okay, how did you make that? Thing? Okay, well, and he goes on to explain. <laughs> <all that. laughs> it's a very large uh, version of like a shield spell mixed with something along the lines of like a um, <coughs> levitate. Uh, uh, not levitate. It's uh, what's the spell that stops the what makes the Lelia go bonk? 
Forbiddance. Forbiddance? <laughs> it's like a forbidden <laughs> like shield, go and it, like, it envelops the entire area in sort of like a shield. It can be oh, broken, he's not wrong. Um, but it can be repaired pretty easily. Um, and uh, the, uh, the, it can shift in different shapes, does and that it, requires power. Does it use the same philosophy as a teleportation circle to keep its permanency? Uh, well, it would, except it. Uh, with the first time they casted it, it was so damn powerful that it just stayed permanently. So they were surprised by that. They thought they would, they would, and then they just didn't. It just stayed. Oh. Yeah. And he's like, this is pre-planar stuff. Right, before yeah. everything Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a while ago. Okay. Um, no, we, we really just, um, we just put a little bit of tele telekinetic force towards the center of the city, and it just moves. It's a really easy, huh. actually. Yeah, it suck. Uh, it's it's actually really bad because something really big hit us. We just flip right over. <laughs> Why does that sound like for bad foreshadowing? Uh, what? I don't know. It just you d set off yeah, like something really big, like warning. a meteor. Please stop. And I've ne like I've never seen a meteor. That's good. So yeah. I just got hit by meteor before. Oh, great. Glad we're <laughs> past that. Oh. Uh, do you know how? <laughs> <laughs> been hit by <laughs> meteors before. I scared him. Do you uh, do you know how Luke put about, their island up in the sky? Mm. What? <coughs> ooh? What'd you say? You know ooh? Never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, right, I forgot that that blinked out of existence. Yeah, like <laughs> cannon. <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> Magic away. So, I mean, Fee. never mind. <laughs> if he came from this city called. Boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Blue. on the ground. It's just a couple, of it's just a couple yeah. buildings. Blue. Yeah. B -L -O. It was very much on the ground. Oh, like Foster's home. Sure. That was insane. Yeah, but no. Not where I was going. Right. Um, no. Am I allowed to ask questions now, or are we still going to be... Oh, yeah. I'm bored all the time. I have nothing <laughs> to do. After after Phelan asks questions, you play Goblin Monsters. Jesus. Dude, I've got like six decks. I haven't got to play with anybody. Nobody will play with me. Alright, it's gotta ask answer questions first. Yes. Okay, okay, right, right, right. <laughs> I, I pull out my bag <laughs> of holding why? and start pulling out my card. <laughs> Do you know how to break an extra dimensional prison? <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, what? Um like Stitch turns well, his head too. What are you planning? Uh, that'd be pretty difficult. We need something like a wish spell. <laughs> we don't got any of those laying around. I was hoping you might. So, Jacob doesn't let Even if I was at liberty, <laughs> even if I did, yeah. I wouldn't tell you. Which maybe means maybe I do. But, like, I'm not telling you. But even, but I, I don't. Alma, even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Oh, you could tell him. Hmm? You oh. could tell him. So are you not skilled enough to know it? What? No, that's not. That's not it. I, I could totally cast the spell. I just. I. 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 I, I you just I, need permission. I have a job. Yeah. I, I have a people to take care of and a city to protect, and I can't just be giving away our secrets to some. <laughs> well, what if there's another wizard who's probably even more powerful? Stuff in one. Oh well, that's, that's a cool story, bro. <laughs> what if? This I love all that. <laughs> Are you talking about the same person? I think you're talking about. I mean, my brother-in-law. Then With all, your brother-in-law in prison? Lycus put... Uh, Lycus captured him somehow? So I was going to say, what and if this prison was created by... Like Lycus even Kings, more... Kings, um, like arch enemy at this time. Lycus. Yes. Lycus like, oh, might have captured him. Lycus thing? Yeah, and yes. the person that we oh, would you free... Oh, have just and, said and, the, and the person that we would free that's the very, very powerful <laughs> wizard would help like us. like a recreational thing. Yes, it's what no. I do for fun. I just break open extra dimensional prisons. Look, man, you don't know who I've met. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a crush on this girl and she became like an extra dimensional god. Alright? You don't know. I met some weird people. <gasps> okay. Um, he just kind of like awkwardly pats because he knows where <laughs> that crush is right now. And <laughs> breaking a portal... Uh, an extra, breaking a portal, easy. Breaking a spell, easy. Breaking an extra dimensional space, that requires a lot of time and craft to create. There's no simple solution to this. There could be some detangling of the weave that a bunch of people could try to put together to try to take apart something, but there's no easy snap of the fingers to get yeah. rid of an extra dimensional space it's unless, of course, you got a wish spell laying around. Yeah. The even question even then, the, the danger might be that you get rid of everything in space. what you're willing to wager for such a spell. 
Well, that is an important point. Um, yeah, you, you're totally right. You know a lot about magic. I'm an artificer. Yeah. Yeah. It's my job. What does that mean, Kurt? I think I would wager everything but my own life. Well, Kurt, what do you have in your back pocket? Mm. I mean, this is somebody a wish spell in your back pocket? <laughs> much more powerful <laughs> than me face. who could <laughs> do more than what I could do. I have access to a wish spell. What? Do you Whoa. have access to a wish spell. I am favored of my god. That's fair. That's it's fair. all fucking gods every time. Yeah. Maybe you should look into one. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's great. It's all sure. all yeah, I had to do so was cut my eye out. Like, we had to work so hard. We had to work so hard. <laughs> then Kurt just goes, oh, I can cast you, Wish. My god said yes. You amount of time I just wanted to go out the back door. I don't have like, much All right, just take me. Just accept me. I just have magical powers. I can heal people. I, Maybe I can just why do we need him? <laughs> Because he's my family, and he's the only one I have left. I know. Come here. <laughs> it's still a matter of finding the dimension, finding out its name. But if I could free him, he's only like all alone otherwise. That's why. Wasn't I wonder if you wanted, if you if you avoided the extra-dimensional space, if you know who you're trying to free, <coughs> could you circumvent the space altogether and just wish for that person to come here? Yeah. That way we don't risk bleeping your your brother-in-law out of existence. Oh, there's somebody trapped in the space. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't I recommend um, using that wish spell to get rid of it? He'd just delete everybody well, on yes. the inside. Yes. <laughs> Breaking out if we needed to. Breaking in, breaking out, getting in there. Well, the only one we want to get is him, right? I think Kurt could j literally just say, I want that person here, and they would just be here. Would Kurt be willing to do so? It's a... Didn't... Weren't we supposed to find your brother because he knew something? My brother's he, dead. No, y your brother-in-law. I'm sorry. Yes. Isn't we're that the we're guy working on the dead who runs the though. mage school. Yes. yes, Vincent. I've got some words like for that so motherfucker. <coughs> what a shitty education. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. I'm Didn't alive. You win a me, Vincent, Kendrick. your school fucking sucks. <laughs> I mean, to Kurt, be fair, um, he wasn't there for a, a little year. like a, a watery portal appears what the in the fuck air. Is and reaches right in and pulls their blade out. Yep. And this is how we derail the, the campaign just by right bringing now? back Vincent right new. now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't mean like this. I am <laughs> sorry, Tomorrow sir. we're going over everything that what you have. What was his name? You pull on too many. Vincent? Yeah. It's if Kurt is going to cast Wish, it needs to be more. Every Vincent that exists will teleport here. Vincent Elfrun. <laughs> Vincent, what's that? Elfrun. Holy Elfrun. shit, Vincent Elfrun. That guy's like a celebrity. Yeah, <laughs> boost your ego a little bit, Spencer. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my old character. Um, Anything else I need to know? I don't know. I don't know the specifics uh, of any of describe this. Describe what he looks like and stuff. Give um, Kurt a mental <laughs> picture. <laughs> <knows how> this <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't Do like give this, and I'm very scared. So yeah, any, I don't anytime, like this. Any time, <laughs> anytime you're casting a spell. Yeah, but Fela know that. <laughs> any anytime you're casting a spell like Wish or like teleportation or anything like that, having the most vivid image of what you're trying to wish for or teleport is good so if you can describe vincent like to a t to to kurt that would that would help wasn't there like a like, wasn't there like a painting of that guy yeah i just have you know who vincent elfrun is is there like a like a book no, about in, him in, in, in school, here wasn't there uh, maybe a like a painting of him, of him? It, yes, like a drawing of him or an artist representation but you, but you oh, saw it. oh fucking k um a uh, long time ago. Is it safe? The Wanted Wanderers. That was like a month ago. I'll flip through it. Is there any <laughs> photos in it? Is it a picture book? No pictures. All right. There's like a oh, map. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Wasn't it written by Vincent? Yes. yes. Why would you <laughs> I, go, I go to the front page Vince, by Vincent Elfru. He didn't put a picture of the party? Okay. <laughs> I wish Vincent Elfru were free from his prison and delivered here. <laughs> oh, 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 ring explodes through the room. <laughs> All of the books fall off of their shelves. <laughs> Dad's gonna be pissed! <laughs> that is an enormous sound. 
<laughs> sound of thunder, but directly in front of you, Kurt's blade begins to burn brightly with pure radiant light, and you all cover your eyes as you watch as uh, it grows more and more intense until it all stops. <coughs> And lying at the bottom of the room, it's sort of like a semi-fetal position, is a purple tiefling. Oh no. Horns. Oh dear. Ragged, uh, uh, nearly destroyed black clothing. Sounds like him. And a scraggly beard. <laughs> and he looks up. And he looks around. And he says, Where the hells am I? And that's where we're going to end today. Wow, I did not expect that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not fucking expect that shit. Well, I is going to hate us. Dude. <laughs> Even more v- than he already Vincent does. Vincent and Eugene teaming up? <laughs> um, they would is destroy that, You only have the one, do you? Two? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. One yeah. left. One um, left. All right. One, two. Jacob's two like, there goes an entire arc of my game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Um, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You know, I didn't expect that either. We're just running things along here on our game. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're doing. That was, that was, that was good, guys. That no, was it's more good. like he just takes the arc and just kind of moves yeah, it closer. Jacob's estimate for the end of the, the series just Don't went down me, by Chuck, five levels. It wasn't me! It was the well, I did give well, her wishes. I didn't think that it would be well, this thing related to this. Yeah. I rolled a 29 on the research. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, uh, that's a fucking luck blade, but the wishes don't reset. Oh, no. Do the wishes reset on a normal luck blade? Yeah, you get what one the f- fuck? Like once a week or something, you get like 1d4 back. It's the stupidest item ever. I know a guy who has one. You could, you could totally have one. <laughs> give me something. Give me your kidney. Give me your kidney. Oh my god. All right, what everybody, thanks for joining for tonight's game of Eden Fall. Kidney. That was fucking insane. <laughs> this game is going crazy. Wait, 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 wait what's going on? What's going I on? I did what here? I did to you earlier when what? you were like, what would Sphinx want? And I was like, I don't know, your kidney? And you're like, why? And I was like, oh, snack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, snack. I was like, what would you do with the kidney? Well, no, no, no. I was hungry. Uh, <laughs> let, let's, let's make sure Sphinx doesn't learn that there is a fucking luck blade in the presence of this city. Yeah, the luck blade. And not the fucking sun. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden her That's light, also a bad one. We have a lot her, of... like, grand loot radars going off. And she's like, <laughs> where is <laughs> it? <laughs> Oh <laughs> my god. What if it's not even Vincent, just some random teeth thing? No, it's good. You guys continue to fucking s- just surprise me. Every <laughs> I'm just like, I don't Tell me I about don't, it. I can't. I can't do this. Oh my god. This is going to have repercussions to Phelan because Kurt going, What would you wager? And Phelan's just like, I don't know. I don't have much. <laughs> well, thanks for joining. We'll anything. see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Ice and Dale because that's all we stream on this channel anymore. Yes. Um, I, I also will put the podcast episode up tomorrow because I forgot to do it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, thanks again, everybody. Love you guys. See you guys next time here on Arcane Arcane. That's the end of the stream. Bye bye. See you. Hi. Are we are we not leaving? How about we not leaving? So I have, uh, how about I wish? I I'm shaking, I think, man. I, uh, uh, Emma looks like she wants to scoop, so we gotta oh, let, no. her, let right. her go. <laughs>